just that I'm a better person than you, Danny. Have we ever considered that? We well, yeah. have. Have we ever considered that, like, morally, I stand on a higher, a higher, ground a higher ground, a higher horse, if you will? Yeah, absolutely. I. Oh yeah. No, my horse rides on top of another horse. Damn. Especially today. tall horse. Oh. I ride a giraffe, my guy. A giraffes aren't that tall. You don't listen. If you're talking, all right. No, 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 no. Stick with me here. Excuse me. Stick with me here. Excuse me. Most of a giraffe height. Notoriously tall. Most of a giraffe's height is its neck, Uh Daniel. Obviously, you know. I'm saying, I'm saying you taller than a horse. uh, Two horses. (laughs) Two horses, Danny. A horse on a horse. I won the moment you were like a giraffe's not tall. Listen, Danny, you're not riding on the top of its head. You're riding on its back. All right. In a majority of a giraffe's height is its neck. What I'm saying is Uh two horses on top of each other are in Clydesdales, probably taller than the back of a giraffe. Zero chance. I need genuine fact checking on this. I've met, I have photos of me feeding giraffes. They're not that tall. I mean, like they are tall. I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. They are quite tall. How tall is a horse in feet? Uh, on it to its back. Five feet, two inches. What are they talking about? You measure in hands. You measure in hands on a horse. They're like 14 hands tall. I, sh- I, I literally shit you not. But that translates to five feet, this says. Well, that's, uh, there's so many different kinds of horses, Danny. There's eight foot tall horses. How tall is a... Fucking no, war. there are eight foot tall horses. There absolutely just absolutely. simply is. There's war horses. Hold on. War horses, Clydesdales, the ones that pull the Budweiser carriages. I know what a Clydesdale is. Danny, people 6. want 3 feet. Is your average run-of-the-mill horse? How tall is the tallest horse? Eight and a half feet. Yeah, that's what you think? Easy. Easy. Uh, seven feet, 2.5 inches no tall. No way. That's what all, all the facts I've read have okay, pointed okay, me. Okay, but they measure horses from hoof to uh, butt. That's height. Hoof to butt. It's not hoof to head. You're being ridiculous. No, it's hoof to butt. I kid you. That's how they but do the hands. What? That's what you were judging the giraffe by. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying put two of those on top of each other. You got seven feet, okay. seven feet, 14, 14 feet. 14 feet. How tall is a, a giraffe's giraffe. back? Giraffe's back. Giraffe's back. You're getting neck involved. You're not riding right. on the how top. How do you know they don't measure from the hoof to ass either? What do you? Why would you measure? Because a horse... Nick! A larger part of a horse's height is not its neck, Daniel. It's a big part. What are you talking? You're being ridiculous. Comparatively. You're being absolutely ridiculous. You're being ridiculous. You're watching the sandcastle of your argument crumble to my shore. I'm saying. And you are freaking out. Any day of the week, I'm taking taking two horses over a giraffe. Giraffe. Giraffe back. Giraffe back. Like foot to back height. What is it, Danny? How can I possibly look that what up? Is it? What's I'm getting 16 to 18 feet tall. Sounds like we're about even. Taller. Sounds like I'm taller. Who are you taking in a fight, Danny? Two the, seven-foot horses two, or one giraffe? Two of the tallest horses on earth. Yeah. Isn't even the smallest giraffe. Yeah, Danny, but who are you taking? Oh, you think you think these I'm chad- taking one giraffe, you're idiot. Taking- Guess what? Knocked over. <laughs> oh, you, what, how is a giraffe going to knock over a seven okay, foot? Here's the question. Sh- who shit would, brick house of a horse. Who would you rather have fight for you? An adult male or two 12 year olds stacked on top of each other? Are they ripped? <laughs> are they fucking? <laughs> what, are you talk- what, are you, what are you talking about, Danny? Is, all right, first off, all right, is the adult built like you and the 12 year olds are built like Russian bodybuilders? Take it easy. Well, I'm just saying, Danny, <laughs> there's variations to what an adult can look like. I'm not saying they're fighting. The Thor, the mountain man, who's seven foot six, four hundred and ninety. Are you talking about Thor Bjornsson? Yeah, that (laughs) mountain. Yeah, there's variation, but a giraffe is built like Pete Davidson. You take one, you take one horse off the second horse, you're you win. What? That's it. It becomes an objectives game. It's not even a. It's not a horse death match anymore. They're going for the knees, Danny. They're going for the knees. Have you ever seen a giraffe fight, Nick? Yeah, they use their. It comes in with a the force of a fucking meteor hammer. You ever seen the force of a fucking flail? All they do is concuss themselves, Danny. They're the the prime case of CTE in the animal kingdom. You think their head isn't built to withstand damage like that? Are you kidding me? You think you think the human head is like? Running backs have to retire six years into their career. You think a giraffe is going to be able to whip around some horses? We're not genetically made to play football, how my many, dude. You how are. many cool giraffe Pokemon are there? Top of the head. giraffe rig Yeah. Go. How many horse Pokemon are there? Uh, the new ghost slash fairy type from, or no, it's either ghost or ice type from uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. The one Ponyta. where something, what are you talking talking about there's so the, there's the, a couple horses yeah yeah there's, there's, a like Clydesdale at least, one. there's at least like four oh, the mud the mud one yeah the, the mud one the yeah, Clydesdale one can, that's at least three can we start a podcast 
All right, time for the cold opening. <laughs> is this not the cold? Boy, oh boy, do I hate when my reaction video content... Uh, wait, no. Boy, oh boy, do I hate it when my reaction video... The cold con- open can't be worse than the... Boy, 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 oh boy, <laughs> do I hate it when my reaction video content maker reacts. I'm just here to watch the show. That was That's what I had for a cold open. <laughs> That was a mess. Absolutely for you. All right. All right. Me. And cut. Boy, oh boy, do I. <laughs> Don't Danny, me. I hate it when my reaction video content makers react to videos. There we go. Thanks. Me too. Yeah. Okay. Let me pull up the screenshot unless you have it. I do not have it saved. No. Of that dude just <laughs> laying into me. So what Nick is referring to, can you talk about it so i can find it so basically what i'm referring to is somebody went under one of danny's most recent soul eater videos yeah and was like i hate how often danny pauses the videos to react and you took it so personally too because they dragged you into it so they go so in my reaction videos oh, he did. i forgot that <laughs> i got so upset i got so upset for you i oh, forgot really? the cult my anime takes dog shit. <laughs> really? yeah i thought you were i thought that's why you were mad no. you were like fucking we're taking this dude down no i i got so upset for you that i completely <laughs> clouded out the fact that because here's like here's like People, how often are people like, wow, do I wish the reaction person would react less? Almost yeah. never. Yeah. How often are people like, our next anime takes dog shit? Almost always. I guess, yeah, I guess I don't a even, bit. It doesn't even register to me. So in my reaction videos, I do skits like a lot yeah. because what I like to bring to like the reaction genre is I like cut out all the fluff. There's yeah. no me just staring at the screen. Mm-hmm. Like anytime I'm just like, I do like a little chuckle or something. That shit's cut. Mm -hmm. I hate reaction videos like that where it's just no content. So to to interject here, I've been recently thinking about starting some reaction content, but like for Patreon, like my personal Patreon. And I'm like, oh, rewatch Naruto. But then the biggest problem is like, all right, not a lot happens in Naruto, like objectively. Like there's like long moments of like nothing going on. So I've been watching a lot of Danny's content. I'm like, wow, this is really good. But I was like, maybe I shouldn't warp my entire perception of what like (laughs) reaction content is based off Danny. So I've started like, like being like, all right, Naruto reactions. I started watching some and oh my God, are they (laughs) fucking awful. There's almost no reacting. There is some good reaction content. I'm sure. I'm sure. sure. I haven't found any, but like, sure. Uh I'm sitting across from the only person who's like reaction content and anime I actually enjoy. But the majority of people just like put some stupid filter, like flip, flip the video uh-huh. and like put it at like 60% opacity and then they just watch it. Then they yeah. just stream Naruto and then they just sit there and like, oh, oh, is Obito gonna, oh, he did the, <laughs> the fight. Yo, this is the biggest fight I've ever, yo, is that, and now Naruto's, and I, I swear, I almost blew my fucking brains out. It was so bad. It's so annoying to watch. So now the way that I'm trying to like, oh, I'm going to make reaction content. I'm just going to do it the way you do it. Yeah. Because that's the only way I enjoy it. You're, no one has seen this yet, but you are already pretty naturally good at it from what I've seen you do with Daniel. Mm -hmm. And what's good too is that you're looking at it from an angle of like an analysis, which will like lead itself to more commentary. That's my only beef is that like so many of these pages have no commentary involved. Yeah. But so anyway, I, Oh, that was fire. Oh, that was, <laughs> Oh, that was so awesome. You guys were at the episode. Like what did we, yeah. what did we accomplish here? So I, um, I got a comment that was Danny's cutaway bits run longer than the actual clips of him quote, reacting to the episode of soul eater. They got, they got your ass. There. <laughs> they got they, ass. They're fucking flamed you yeah so the gun was already in my hand at this point yeah like at this point i'm on the last loop of the noose absolutely then, yeah it's you and that that man on twitter just yeah. fucking singing it so then i go so then it goes um which i actually want to see him do if i wanted to see him tell jokes uh that ran on for this long i'd watch his podcast let nc hammer 23 talk about his dog shit anime takes fucking smoked us it's funny because put us in a blender <laughs> fucking neutral bullet oh in my us. god he yeah. ruined us this dude juiced the fuck out of us Listen, i'll tell this you guy, right now dubo schlubo 28 <laughs> biggest dick on the internet <laughs> um it's funny because the implication behind this comment is that he does like when i react yeah and knows our podcast yeah, like like likes our shit like likes your <laughs> content so much by the way like compared me and danny com- like combined have a million youtube subscribers mm. i have I mean, there's probably some overlap between Nancy Hammer 23 and Weave Commander, but between the two of them, I'm around 800,000. Danny's at a quarter million. Yeah. Between the two of us, 
a million YouTube subscribers. We have 30,000 subscribers on this podcast, which means less than like, <laughs> like what, like what? 1%? Yeah. Like less than 1% of our YouTube subscribers watch our podcast. 1% of them is that dude. <laughs> yeah. And he was just like, like you are within the 1%. He was like, I'm about to give Danny the business right yeah, now. Like, but, like in the 1% of people are like, oh, I'll check out. Like I love yeah. this content creator. I'll go check out whatever they do. And that dude was like, I'm going to go, but only because I hate him. I know, but, what? Uh, you know, it's funny that just dawned on me somehow. He's probably gonna watch this. Oh yeah, good, <laughs> good. good. Fuck you. I I just, it's just so yeah, it's so paradoxical and funny that he's like, I hate the content part of this video. Yeah, like okay, you just want to be like, oh wow, soul yeah. leader, soul leader, so soul leader. Like, yeah. like what do you want from me? I know I do get comments like that, not like frequently because again, it like defeats the purpose of what the video mm -hmm. is but i get comments where it's like quit pausing the video so much and it's like my guy go watch soul here that's, that's i'm not a streaming service i <laughs> legally can't show you yeah. all of soul eater yeah like, like, i have to react to it at certain points otherwise i get a copyright strike like what do you want from me well that's the thing that's the funny thing about the other reaction pages is that i get people i i've had other reaction uh pages also jose who does like some reaction stuff ask me like yo how do you get away like how do you get around the copyright stuff like how do you get away with not doing like 10 opacity small screen you sure like six seconds well that yeah and i just like i just do it yeah. like i just try <laughs> like <laughs> like i'm just not afraid of getting copyright mm -hmm. stricken because sometimes the show it's uh show specific it's so like black butler doesn't give a fuck what i show yeah. same with boongo but other shows usually newer ones will hit me with a copyright strike like before the video is uploaded and then i'm like oh all right small lower opacity boom now i'm around it yeah. but like it's so funny where they're like what's the trick and i'm like just do it balls <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, like, have the balls to try you just do it i get not doing it because it like saves you a headache but mm -hmm. also if you get away with it, it's such a more enjoyable experience for the viewer. Also, if you like, so for those of you who don't know, who don't post on YouTube and all that, like if you get copyright struck, it's not that you get like in trouble. You're just like your video now makes no money. Yeah. Like all of that money goes directly into Bandai or Toei. Well, or some, so some of them, you don't really have to worry about it, which is good because you I, don't show. I occasionally get copyright struck, like, which is very weird because I kind of have like an agreement with Naruto that like, yeah, I show your shit and they're yeah. like, all right, cool. Right. So like, I like, but occasionally if we play like copyrighted music, that's right. where they get us. So some, they, they can like choose what they do to you. So like Netflix, for example, is kind of okay because they will just take the revenue. Yeah. And it's like, you can dispute it, whatever, and then, like, fear the legal repercussions. Mm -hmm. Or you just let them have the revenue, and you potentially will get more subscribers, at least, from the video. Yeah. Other page, like, uh, like Bandai Namco, they're like, get that shit off of YouTube. Yeah. And they'll just take the video down entirely. Um, but unless, really? They, that I, they yeah. only, they only ever, they're like, oh, you're, lose the money now to me. For Bandai. Oh, they were like, if, if they're ever like. I also. Yeah, you schmooze. I, I am, I'm kind yeah. of in a little, a little schmooze in a band yeah. as well. If they ever... Yeah, by, get me Tekken, please. I, I gave you the contact. <laughs> you, did, you lied. Full on. I sent you the picture of it. Nope. I will hand you... No, don't do it yet. <laughs> Time out. So but fucking I, email her. Yeah, but anyway... God, um, things I do for this man. Schlibbity, schlibbity, schloom, 8181. Mm -hmm. Here's our response video to your yeah. weird, uh, paradoxically rude comment. Here's the thing. Don't watch our content. Like I don't like listen. But he likes it weirdly enough, or does it? <laughs> here's 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 my thing. Like, All I do is give anime takes. If yeah. you don't like them, don't listen to them. All Daddy does is react to things. If you don't like them, go watch the show. There's so little more we offer. <laughs> like, I, that is literally it. Yeah. All, I am an anime take machine. You're yeah. not gonna like all of them. Fucking sorry. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you said uh, this person would beat this person in the fight, and now all of your takes are dog shit. I don't care. We're really taking the high ground. On oh, this one. I'm fucking on two horses, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> that's him. That's, that's that guy. That's you. <laughs> that's you. All right. Anyway. Uh, so that's our cold open. Welcome to Talk yeah. to Anonymous. Those are our cold opens. Yeah. The, that, <laughs> that and I, the horse debate. That probably the greatest cold open we've ever done. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, recently, so like usually our thing is like recently we've just been like hit like hit we hit record and then we sit down and we like keep talking about whatever we're talking yeah. about and it kind of like usually sometimes Stank will cut it out sometimes he won't yeah. depending on how good the conversation is. It's probably our best one. Oh really? I like I like I like, I like, I like the horses. 
Yeah. I'm still taking the horses over the draft any day of the week. You're so wrong and so I, whack. Listen, but, and that's discourse, baby. Yeah. That's discourse. And that's just America. That's America, That's just the baby. freedom of America, We baby. hate each other and we won't agree. Yeah. Oh, speaking of being divided, uh, me and Daddy got on a call with Gamer Subs today. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Why is that divisive? Uh, because we might have, like, two codes and we might do, like, a team name. That was team your idea. Thing. Well, okay, so let's you're, talk. You're like, let's talk I don't want... We're going to do it on the pod. We're going to do live pod. They absolutely. They don't care. Yeah, absolutely care. Okay, let's tell and them also, about our sponsorship now they can tell debating. us what to do. So okay. basically, GamerSups reached out to us as a podcast, and they were like, we like your shit. And we we're like, uh. thanks, man. We also uh, like our shit. But there, then we like brought up the very logical thing of like, hey, man, uh, we're a two-man podcast, and we also have independent YouTube pages that are much bigger than our podcast, and we want money. <laughs> so if you sponsor uh, individual pages as well, then it'll be more money so now we kind of reach this impasse where we're like do we both approach a gamers up like sponsorship where as individuals where i'm like hey get team nick get team danny and then it's content it's like oh how many orders did you get and like that can like kind of be our ad we can have like uh. a bit of like how much is gamers ups like how much has our gamers ups like does my community like caffeine more than yours some shit right. like that or we can have gamers ups just sponsored the pod and we split that down the middle but it's all about how well, many- and then the loser should something should happen in the loser. That's- the loser should have to like cut a hand off or something. I like that. <laughs> I like in one year from now, episode yeah. 100, yeah. whoever has more gamer sub sale has to cut off their non dominant hands. I would love a crazy stake yeah. like that. Then episode 100 has three million <laughs> views, yeah, just like- and the rest are just <laughs> and that's what pot knife is for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, it's so not sharp. It's not sharp it's enough. So that's the fun. Much. We're doing 127 hours, just I- three hours of screaming. I would love like that. We have a three million view episode, mm. probably more, probably higher. YouTuber. And- Cuts their hand off with dull blade yeah. for three hours is definitely going to do pretty well. And then the next like six weeks, I'm just pale and <laughs> shaking and like. Nick, I think sepsis is setting in. Why haven't yeah. we gotten to the hospital? And you're like, because you don't get to leave until you beat me in gamer sub sales. It's like the third episode after I'm just like passed <laughs> out, face down on the desk. You're just doing it on your and own. Everyone's like, I feel like the podcast is no different. It's just Nick yapping for two <laughs> yeah. hours. It's like, Damn. Yeah. That hurts. Yeah. And it's like, everyone's like, yeah, this is just Nick talking about JJK, yeah. which just came all, back. All the comments are just, I don't miss Danny. <laughs> I don't miss him one bit. Blood Boy's acting real weird this episode. <laughs> I'm, fucking, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this. So yeah, um, don't get gamer subs until me and Danny get <laughs> sponsored. That's uh, that's actually that's the the key takeaway here. Gamer subs has tricked me into being excited about a sponsorship though too <clears throat> because they were oh, like they jingled the keys in front of your face so they, so good. They got a carrot and they got a stick Absolutely. and I'm hyped because they were like. We have like a bracket system where if you sell enough through your link, you will get a A flavor flavor. of your own. Which, by the way, we could totally do. Like, like, listen, we have friends who have, I have many friends who have gamer sub sponsorships and they all have flavors. Like, it's not hard to acquire. The anime men, Stephen He, I mean, obviously Stephen He is way bigger than us, but like, like the anime men and a couple other friends that are like roughly around our size have gotten flavors or shaker cups. Yeah. We could do it. You ready for the real ballsy question? Uh-huh. You ready for the question I shouldn't ask you on the pod? Well, listen, we can cut it. It's for the 41 people watching right now. Should we get into our uh, what we have this week? By the way, I'm NC Hammer 23, also known as the Weeb Commander. They this don't is, care. This Let's is a get talk into is anonymous, it. and I'm, I'm joined by D Mott. Yeah, Danny Mata. Danny Mata. <laughs> That's me, baby. Mm-hmm. Um, soon to be a flavor. Soon to be a flip. Yeah, Listen, on gamer subs. Probably already technically a flavor. What's your flavor name? Oh, that's a good question. Plot armor. I think I'd go with plot armor. Plot armor. I, I thought I'd... it should be like a Ben and Jerry's thing where it's like, like try Danny Mulberry or something. Ma. Oh, oh, oh! You're like talking Danny about Danny like, mozzarella. About fish food. You know. Yeah, you're talking about fish food. No, I'm not. Well, what you are said, you talking you said ben about? Ben and Jerry. It's fish food. That's a fish food is a Ben and Jerry's flavor. Is it? What the fuck are we talking about here? Yes! I'm talking about, like, Rocky Road. Yeah. Okay. Fish food. I thought you meant... Half-baked. Okay. I don't I know. in New Hampshire. All it's right. a state next to Vermont. That's where Ben & Jerry's comes okay. from. Don't even presume <laughs> to know oh Ben & Jerry's, all right? <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time I drove to Montreal, we would stop at the Ben & Jerry's factory. Wow. It's an identity to New Englanders. What's their flavor, Nick? Uh, I'm a big, I'm a big, uh, I'm a big half-baked guy, personally. No. They're in flavor name. Oh, gotcha. I kind of like plot armor. Okay, plot armor is good. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't know. I got to think on it. You'll, you'll get it. I'll get it one They day. have one called Grandpa's Ashes, which I love. That's fucking, Fuck that's me. That's fucking Whoa. hilarious. Okay. Uh, a lot went on this week. A yeah. lot went on this week. Um, we have really big news. Should we start with our really big news or should we should we get to that later? We should probably get to that later. Okay. I want to talk a little bit about Spy Family. Okay. Which is, uh, I know, like a wild way to lead the show. Yeah. Have you been watching it? Yes. Yeah? And I've been watching it with Dorothy. It's yeah. like me and Dorothy's like only anime. It's like our comfort show. And boy, oh boy, is it fucking good. Oh, good. It's the best season they've ever done, and it's wild. <laughs> it's the second season it's the they've second, ever okay, done. <laughs> but it's like vastly better than the first season uh, because, wow. one, they've held on to all of the bits. You're like, oh, it's like Anya and Yor and Lloyd. Yeah. Becoming the a characters. Family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like becoming a family, like going through like yeah. their individual like problems. And like there's like these small little like 12 episode, like every episode is sometimes like two to three episodes where it's like, oh, it's focusing on Anya doing something for like seven minutes and then Yor for seven minutes and then Lloyd for seven minutes, something like that. The last three episodes have been a assassination plot thriller. Nice. That's like been like surprisingly dark, surprisingly gory, building out the universe of like assassins. Like there's like a ton of assassins on this one boat trying to kill a mob wife. Nice. And like yours acting as protection. The action sequences have been sick. And like, it's just like surprisingly dark. People are getting offed left, right, and center. Mm. And I've been like, for the last three episodes, I've been like, what is this? Is supposed to be like a show about like them playing tennis to like yeah. save the world? <laughs> yeah, like, it's like we're doing like an actual like mob hit story here. Yeah, I've been. I remember when I was reacting to Spy Family, and I would do bits where I'm like, I can't believe this got this dark. Everyone was like, the manga is like absolutely like insanely dark. Yeah. I guess they're getting into that now. We are. And yeah. it's like, it's like, yours just often people like throwing like her little like dagger things yeah. through people's skulls. Jeez. Like just like straight through and it's like people are getting like shot in the head, stabbed in the neck. It's What's, crazy. How's the public perception? Like Spy Family no was idea. huge when it released. Yeah. And then it kind of fizzled out in second core. You no know, one I, really cared. I, is it on, is it on Crunchyroll? Yeah. Okay. Cause it's also on Hulu. But, um, I I was like, oh, it probably went on Crunchyroll. That's why people are talking about it. I don't know. I don't hear anybody talking about it. Yeah. But it's know. also massive in Japan. Well, it's that's good. So big there. I love, I just love looking at it. Whenever it's, I see like any merch or anything, I'm just like, good. Well, also, good like, soup. all three of the characters have such unique color palettes. Like, Ani's I love, pink. yeah. Lloyd is green. Oh, yeah. Yours is like black and red. It is like, we kind of talked about this. I forget, I forget who we were talking about, but we're like, there are. The main characters, the MCs in anime that are as big as they are, mm -hmm. are that way, not by accident. Yeah. Right? Like, Goku has such a striking orange-blue color palette. Yeah. Naruto, very recognizable, iconic look. We talked about this with Boruto, where, like, I saw his design and I was like, it, it doesn't have that, like, that, like, genius knowledge of what makes a character design and color palette. I would say his first design, part one Borto, yes. Part two Borto, dope. Dope outfit. Also, his colors <laughs> yeah. are pink and blue. Or no, right. pink, and, pink and black. Right. Yeah. But like, so that like Luffy's got like a great like color. All of the characters like blue. Zoro, green yeah. and everything. Like there is such a science to like character designs. Mm. And I think like, yeah, Yu Yu Hakusho isn't as like big as like. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yu Yu Hakusho isn't as like popular so obviously like yusuke is not as popular but i also think like his design isn't anything you know what i mean yu show is wildly popular i don't know about why i don't know about just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean it's not popular i don't know about why it came out in the early 90s that's yeah, why no so one... did dragon ball how many people are talking about og dragon ball people talk about drag how many people are talking about naruto nick, okay, okay, right, nick. tons and tons no, of people even, this is this is the most asinine argument you've ever made dragon ball's still coming out that's why people are still talking about it naruto's it not Yes, it is. No one cares about Boruto. So, it's the third biggest manga on earth. Is it? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it literally goes like when Boruto releases, it goes One Piece, uh -huh. JJK, Boruto. And what about where does fucking Kagurabachi fit in there? Kagurabachi usually, so if it's like two weeks since, because Boruto's monthly. It's gotcha. been like two weeks since Boruto was posted, Kagurabachi goes over it. Gotcha, gotcha. But like for like the week that Boruto comes out, it's the third biggest manga on earth. Gotcha. No one cares about, how dare you? <laughs> How's, just, dude, just being inflammatory. There was so the first off, what well, we're gonna talk about this later. Chapter four of Two Blue Vortex came out. I'm not gonna spoil anything. I'm, I'm, at least if, if I do spoil anything, I'm gonna tell you. Will you? But my God. Yeah. Yeah. I could have spoiled it right now. Well, I'm telling. You do that. I'm giving people super advanced notice. Yeah. We're an hour away from me trying to spoil things about Boruto. Get ready, because yeah. the next time I'm talking about Boruto, I'm talking about what happened. All right. So 
figure it out. Wow. Yeah. Strap in. Strap in, everybody. So Spy Family, very good. Very good. Very- oh, but I was just saying the Spy Family crew, mm-hmm. like whoever, whoever designed them, like absolutely knows the science of like what makes good color palettes, good character designs. Like yeah. they are so striking and great to look you, at. And it's, it sounds silly, but you need like changing clothes all the time kind of makes a character harder to stick to. What's an Anna? Cause Hunter Hunter. That was your thing? Yeah. Really? They change clothes all the time. Gon's always in his fucking. Gon is the only person who never changes clothes. What about Capi- Caprica? Capricorn. That one. Capuca. You know who I'm talking about. I do, but I okay, want to keep. Please keep trying. I won't. I won't get You're it. You're close. Capernicus. Copernicus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Copernicus. Yeah, he yeah. changes clothes all the time. Does he? Caropica. Caropica. You were close. Never would have gotten it. Yeah. I was shockingly you close. You were shockingly close. Um. Does he? I know he's Kropika, always in that little like Zelda outfit. Well, so he starts in the Zelda outfit and then he kind of disappears from the story. Oh. Uh, and then it comes back and he changed. Now he's in a suit. So oh, like he's now the main character of the story in the manga and he's in a suit. Oh, uh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like he, there's like a whole arc where he's like in a protection detail and he has to wear a suit during that. Yeah. So like, and then Kilowa is pretty much the, the greatest example. Like Kilowa like is known most widely for like a white t shirt, blue undershirt with right. like blue shorts. Like that's what people yeah. know him for. But he's almost never wearing that really? like that's just like what he's introduced in and then like he changes a ton throughout the show interesting yeah gotcha yeah so i'm they, just looking at your hunter hunter poster like oh yeah yeah. just, and then, like, just soaking them in yeah leorio also is like almost always in a suit but that's because he's a med student you know what i don't like about that poster uh uh-huh. this <laughs> is literally one of the best pieces of art i own what are you talking about <laughs> i don't like karapika just like doing a jog on top of the x no that's fair isn't that's, that, that's, isn't that that's, silly? <laughs> you're looking at the forest for the trees, though. Is that what that is? You're absolutely... Would, yeah, you're just looking at the forest for the trees. At the forest for the trees? You're what does that mean? You're not, looking oh. at the, you're not looking at the grand scale of how cool the composition of the entire photo is, and you're looking at an individual thing and being like, I don't like that. You've never heard that saying, looking at a forest for the trees? No. Really? No, I don't hang out with Loraxes. What do you mean? <laughs> that's an incredible... It's a very good statement. It's a very good like saying. It I makes sense. I don't think... I think a nitpick uh-huh. is being like, this is, that poster is bad because of Karapika doing a you white said, You said he didn't like it. I just said, you know what the worst part of that poster is? That's like me being like, this flan is great, but the worst part is the garnish. Flan's still great. I'm sorry I picked flan. Why do we <laughs> Where? I asked, if you, I asked if you ate before this. What are you? It's like, damn, I could do some jiggly food right now. I could go with a nice flan. We can go get Italian you. after this if you want. I'd fucking <laughs> love to get some Italian in me. I've never had flan. Uh, did you watch Invincible? Yeah. Uh, both episodes. Look at you. Yeah. How are you feeling? I love, before I nitpick, Okay. I love Invincible. I like, this is, I finally get to be you. I finally get to be so many people because this is the only thing I have ever read before it came out. Okay. I've read the entirety of Invincible. You've never read it. You've never like been like, oh, I wonder what's happening in this manga. Like a, an anime no. stops and you're like, I literally need to know. You've never done that? No, because it's wow. the things I like, like Chainsaw Man's the closest I've gotten mm. because, and my hero, because everyone was like, the animation of My Hero's latest seasons were bad. And I'm mm-hmm. like, I thought they were fine. The, if the animation's bad, the manga must be sick. But I can't tell what the fuck's going on in the manga anytime I jump in. Anytime so I have to restart. Anytime somebody's like, oh, the manga's better for MHA, they're lying. Right? They're, they're, they're lying. The manga's not better. You like, yeah. I, reading Every time you're reading the manga of MHA, it feels like I'm reading not well scanned leaks like it's like it's like the, like the gradation is yeah. like the blacks and the whites isn't that good i can never tell what's going on there's always something exploding but it just yeah. explodes in like lines it's from what i've seen it's so hard to look at and like people have said you have to rest like just start from chapter one so then it you like get accustomed you to have it. to train your eye yeah you train your eye yeah. and i'm like that's so far back i don't even like read shit i want 100 in like six chapters yeah, yeah that's crazy um and the whole thing is like togashi was like i don't want this story to be as long as one piece and like it's not yeah still fucking it's long it's long as yeah. hell which is i'm fine with but anyway um i just, it's it's a time thing like mm. i'm not like it's ridiculous to ask me that i just don't have the time but chainsaw man i've also gotten close to manga is very pretty and jjk mm. actually because this season's hype which yeah. we'll get into but a lot of the things that I like about these shows, like Chainsaw Man, is I like the weird 
kind of reverse music. I like the tone. I like the, like, you know, obviously the animation. Mm -hmm. And, like, I think that's what makes One Piece the perfect, like, I read the manga, I don't watch the show thing, is because the manga's art is so gorgeous, and One Piece came out so long ago, early on, obviously, came out so long ago that, like, it, the pacing's so slow. The animation is so choppy. Mm-hmm. The voice acting's a little whack in English. It's, there's moments. I, 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 I recently kind of got crucified for that take, actually. Really? I was like watching I was watching the English dub, and yeah. there's a character that you haven't been introduced yet called Jimbei. And Jimbei... Big guy. Yeah, he's a big fish. Yeah, yeah. Big old fish. Big old. Um, and so in, in Japanese, he's like... He's like, oh, he's like, oh, what does you want? Like, he's just like very yeah. big. He talks slow. Yeah. He's very like... You know, like he's very like... Uh, just respectful deep voice slow yeah, yeah japanese but man. in english he's like this will not stand and i'm That's just tough. like they're trying to follow yeah. the cadence of the japanese voice so much that like it just sounds weird in english yeah. he's like big mom i do not fear death and yeah. like it's not terrible but it's enough where they're like because like the other english voice actors in one piece are incredibly talented yeah like, inc- like chris i Sabat, love luffy's voice yeah like she's incredible chris sabbat is uh frankie uh one of the most talented he's english- also zoro Take your time. No. I'm right. Are you? <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Zoro. No. Yes. Zoro. I'm, my keyboard is in Japanese. Zoro. Zoro's the one with the blue hair and the big arms, right? Oh, you motherfucker. It is Chris Abbott. <laughs> I'm joking. He's Zoro. <laughs> this is two goddamn weeks in a row I've been wrong. <clears throat> I'm sure it's been more. And who the fuck voices for? Probably the same man. It's Wait not. until you hear he's Piccolo and Vegeta. I was literally just, I was just, I was just looking at his, all the pictures of the stuff that he, the stuff that he voiced, and Frankie wasn't there. Patrick Seitz, God damn it. I always get the mixed. <laughs> I hate being wrong. I'm losing my edge. Oh my God. <laughs> Put it away! I gotta start making reaction content now. Oh my God. I gotta take Danny's content from him. Jesus Christ. Speaking of the witch. Are we? Yeah. yeah. Your Tail Beast video did very well. It my did Bungo okay. Stray Dog, bo- my Jesus Christ, my Bungo Stray Dogs video did not do well. Didn't do well at all. Which they both stupid. didn't do great. It was dumb. Your, yours was very funny. I liked yours. I liked mine as well. So I did a video just for context. I did a video where I was like explaining all, explaining and ranking all the tailed beast, except I've never seen Shippuden. Mm. And I was like, this video is for Nick specifically. Yeah. And so I just like, like Shokaku, right? That's how you pronounce it? You nailed it. Shokaku, like one-tailed beast, obviously the first. Um, And I was like, this one I know. I've seen OG Naruto. Yeah. This is Shubu the sand bear. Loves honey. Yeah, loves honey. Love that joke. <laughs> he looks like Teddy, uh, Winnie the Pooh. That's where that joke came I from. I guess kind of, yeah. Yeah. He's a tonicky. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But so... um. So it, it's just that for all of them. Some of them I've never seen before, mm-hmm. which was a delight. The Chome? big gorilla one. See, oh, uh, Jesus Christ, the big gorilla one. With yeah. the cannon tongue? Yeah, yeah, no, He's the, the four tail, Son Goku, yeah. He's cool. The big crab monster is cool. Isobu, the three tails? It's not a crab. He's a. Are you talking about Chome, the seven tails, the beetle? No, that one sucks. Yeah. yeah. You're talking about Isobu. The, he's a, he's yeah. a turtle, not Isobu's a crab. Isobu's cool. Yeah. Um,. Don't act like I should know what creature that is. That's it's, so not an earth creature. What do you mean? It he, looks he's ridiculous. A, he's got a huge shell, a head that sticks out of it, and tiny little arms. It looks like a shadow of the Colossus monster. I mean, he kind of is. He also has three tails, and his entire ability is that he can make barnacles grow on things, and that he spins into people quickly. They're so not created equally. Whoever got the fucking, like... First off, the two-tailed beast sucks. You're tra- the, M- Matatabi? Matatabi? Actually, yeah. Matatabi does kind of suck. Sucks. Yeah. You're also right. The smallest had all the tailed beasts. He's so little. She. She's so little. I also, I commented, Matatabi's a girl, you cuck. Not a single like. <laughs> Everybody else's comments getting likes. The video's made for me. My comment, no likes. <laughs> Fucking, I've lost my edge. It's a rough week for you. I know. Actually, um, I can, it's actually been a very good week for me. I know, because of your YouTube. We'll talk about no, that. Yeah. Um Slug tailed beast sucks. Psychin. Beetle sucks. Chomi's dope. How dare you? <laughs> He's not dope. Chomi is sick. Chomi's ne- the only tailed beast that can fly. Next to the eight tailed beast, the mm. octopus. Yuki, yeah. sick. Um, nine tailed beast kind of sucks. That's fair. Comparatively. No, yeah, that, that's- if if Naruto had the three tailed beast or the gorilla tailed beast, Son Goku. 
crazy. Yeah. I, boy, oh boy, would Naruto be a shorter series. Every other tailed beast is a combination of two things. Like they're from the Avatar universe. It's like a turtle duck. Yeah. Um, but the Kur- fox is just long. Kurama is just, well, like Kurama is a tonic, not a tonic. Uh, a fox. A kitsune. Okay. Just straight up a kitsune. So like there's a Japanese like mythology lore that every hundred years a fox lives, it gains a new tail. So when it turns a thousand years, it oh, gets nine sick. tails. I like that. Uh, but it, like, but they're also, they can turn into women and they can lure people in yeah. shrines. They're usually like shrine protectors, but sometimes they're like kind of like bad things. So like, Kram is just a kitsune. Yeah. But like everything else is like a combination of a turtle and like Isobu is a combination of a turtle and something else. I don't remember what the other thing is. Like Matsutabi is actually, Matsutabi is also based off a two-tailed cat, which is Japanese lore, which are like evil cats. Right. Um, Like after they die or something, they, get a, they gain a second tail. I forget what they're called. But yeah, most of the tail beasts are based off of something, but like some of them are just kind of boring. Yeah. I hate my least favorite one out of all of them. Is it Saiken? Sl- Second? Saiken. The six tails, the slug, the scoopy one. No, he's not bad. He's You're like, okay, cute. you said Saiken was the best. You're the only person in the history of tailed beasts. No one Saiken. likes him. Saiken is by far and away the weakest tailed beast, and it's not close. Hey, no shit. Look at him. He's goopy. That's like being like Psyduck's lamer than Dialga. Yeah. Fucking no duh. I, I, I bet there's some Pokemon anime episodes where Psyduck like, stands a good chance against Dialga. Psyduck rules, and I love him. Mm-hmm. I'm saying... You can't be that hard on Goopy Slooperson. <laughs> Listen, he did the Look at his little arms. He's, he's got crazy. They don't do anything. Don't his do ability anything. that he gives as a jerky is blowing bubbles. Yeah, I've yeah. seen. It's fantastic. <laughs> Not only does he have vestigial arms, mm-hmm. his whole goddamn body is vestigial. Mm-hmm. Um, the worst one is the dolphin horse. Oh, fucking. Oh, my God. Um, that thing looks undercooked. <laughs> That thing needed way more time in the womb. Fuck, what is its name? Oh Who my god. Who cares? That's embarrassing that I can't think of it. Um, it is a combination of a horse and a deer, you're right. Uh not Chome. No, Chome's the seven tails. Jesus Christ. It's cool. a combination of a dolphin and a deer. It's a combination of a dolphin and a deer, you're right. A I horse don't... and a deer is just a short horse. I don't even remember what it's called. That's fine. Oh my god! It's called It's the Five Tails. It has steam release. Yeah, it's called ass. That's what it's, it's I know it's I know it's Jinjerky's name is Han. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm oh sorry. My god, I, I lost everything. Oh my god, this is the worst day. For I was you. having a good week before this too. Can we get in okay, so we're, we were talking about Invincible. Oh Kukio. Shit. Kukio. Thank Kukio. God. Kukio. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank God Felt that my happened. career slipping out of my hands. Holy shit. Yeah. You would have gotten like a whole half hour YouTube response video. Yeah, of why I you're had to like hack. post a notes app apology yeah. on Twitter. Um yeah, we didn't even talk about Invincible. This no. has been an ADD ass day. It's yeah, it forty is. minutes in. We're good. We're, we're fucking killing it. Um, Invincible, right? I feel like you because this is the first thing I've ever read the thing of. Um, and so I'm like, man, they're teasing some shit. Like for example, uh, the intro that they do now, where it, like cracks, mm-hmm. they're teasing something behind the thing. The cracks? Be- yeah, behind the Invincible that we see that's covered in blood. The Invincible behind it, that's a tease. That's teasing something. And I don't know if it'll be this season or next season. See, I haven't I haven't read it. Yeah, before. I know. You wanna spoil hey, hey, you wanna spoil something for me? You wanna know? You wanna you wanna you wanna no, no, I'm just saying like you have a unique opportunity. Oh, I know I do. Spoil. I could I you know why? You know why you I You know won't? who I know because about? Because I'm better than you. And I won't do that to them. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah. You're better than me? I'm better than you. So we shouldn't talk about Thrag? <laughs> that's not his name. That's absolutely <laughs> There's a man whose name is Thrag. Is it? That's all I know. Oh, I don't think. Oh, I Mr. Like, Mr. I've seen, I've watched Invincible. Doesn't oh, even know I am Thrag. embarrassed. I am embarrassed. He's spoiler. I guess he's like the final boss. Yeah. 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 I know, know that. About him. Interest. Interesting. I spoil things for myself ahead of time. Even do if you? I, even if I haven't read things, yeah. I, I always look up the ending. Really? Always. <laughs> Why would you do that? that? Because no one can hurt me. I know. Well, you looked up um, Undead Unluck, and I was kind of bummed because I was like. This was a journey we're going through together. And now oh, you've oh, oh. read the manga. Let me give you a little peek behind the curtain. What? Barely skimmed it. Barely. I just I just read until I I just read until Barely you're like the driving crooner. <laughs> <laughs> trying to make it look fake. Literally all I I just I read until all the answers. Uh I got them and that's it. So I'm not that far ahead of the anime, but we won't tell we won't tell those silly little weeb commander followers that now, won't we? Damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, so uh yeah, Your peek behind the curtain is a fucking VIP all access. I'm still <laughs> reading it. Like I'm yeah. still like I'm like gonna catch up with that's it. So but, like funny. I'm definitely like I so I do my things. So I, you know about Thrag. Do you know about Conquest? No. He, I think, will be in this season, and he is 
the hype. The hype. Yeah. This the hypenist. Se- yeah. So this season is setting up the first two episodes, in my opinion, very okay. Mm-hmm. But I they set up arguably the best arc in the entire comic book run. Really? The multiverse shit is the best shit ever in what's all the, of comics. What's the, what's the guy with the brain? Uh, Le- Angstrom Levy. Levy. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he said like Angstrom like Levi or mm. something. I call him Angstrom Levy because I read it. It's been a big week for mispronunciations and mistranslations. JJK <laughs> had a couple of really big mistranslations that are pointing people to a possible theory that is like just now starting to catch traction. It's kind of crazy. Damn. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Tough. Tough. Or, you know, good for big mistranslation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, but it's like maybe it's like well, a hint. But if it's a mistranslation... But then it is may, it not a hint? But it may not be a mistranslation. Oh, gotcha. They might be like trying to be like, all right, uh, this is like a hint as to like what's going on. You love your manga conspiracy theories. Have they I'm, ever been correct? Yes. Have you ever had one that's correct? What? I can we talk about it? Yeah. Can we talk? Right, right. Invincible was fine. It was good. Uh, oh, shit. my favorite part. I, I'll read you my notes really yeah. quickly. Uh, a weird step back, pacing wise. Um, but the, but the thing that made Invincible great in the first place, coming of age story for Mark. Batman is dead, but Robin picks up his mantle. The show is really just an odd copy of DC. Uh, they even have Atlantis, which was led by Aquarius. Well, that's, yeah, that's kind of always been the bit. Like, he kills the Justice League in yeah. episode one. Um, it is, de- yeah, the first two episodes, very slow. Mm-hmm. But I think, like, the last four to six are going to be unbelievably Just, like, hype. breakneck pacing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I love sure. that. I, it is weird to me when they're just like, yeah, it is just DC. And yeah. I'm like, is it too close? It's supposed to be, like, a... Invincible has always been like part parody comic Mm -hmm. where it's like, right. He goes to Atlantis and like maybe has to marry the queen of Atlantis and Mm -hmm. this and that. And I'm watching with Sarah and I'm watching with my other roommate, John and Sarah has never telling Josh to go fuck himself or he's not here. He's in New York. Oh, what a loser. Um, Sarah's never seen a single episode. Mm -hmm. John is caught up and Sarah's like, Fucking, there's Atlantis, there's this, there's that, there's the Lizard Legion. Yeah. And John, and I'm like, I tell her, I'm like, you are as caught up as John is. Because the bit with Invincible is that it's like, the joke is if you took someone who's never seen a single Marvel thing and like dumped them into issue like 2000 of Mm -hmm. Captain America. And so it's like, in, in like the MCU it's kind of ridiculous because it's like, oh, you know, we've been introduced to all of this alien shit gradually, but then they keep doing like prequel stories. And it's like, why is all this happening all of a sudden? Like yeah. where, where were the Avengers in the forties and this and that? And it's mm-hmm. like invincible is like, nope, it's every comic book thing all at once. Yeah. There's Atlantis. The city is cursed. There's fucking gods of every culture. But all of that is DC. Like, all, like literally all yeah. of it is just straight DC rip. Like, Atlantis yeah. existing, cursed cities. That would be like a like a Constantine. Like, that's like very much like a Constantine in uh, what's his, Manchester well, Black, like, I think. It's like literally a parody of Batman where yeah. it's like the original animated series was always during nighttime. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, the joke is that like their Batman is in like a, a nighttime cursed night city. city. That's yeah. actually really fucking funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that a lot actually. Yeah. Uh, but so yeah, like it's a good bit. I'm up, but at the same time, I'm like, is it too I'll, close? I was like, are we infringing on IP here? That's always my <laughs> thing. It's like we had this conversation. We're having this conversation about Invincible. We had this conversation about oh, Mashal with Harry Potter. It's, oh, like, yeah. it's like the same thing, yeah. same concept. But you're like, oh, it's kind of different, and like yeah. we're kind of making fun of it because like Mash is like a super Chad and not like some nepo baby. Right. So like it's like. Very teetering on the line, and I'm like, how do you avoid getting sued when Darkwing sidekick picks up the mantle for Darkwing yeah. after Darkwing dies? Like, that happens. Like, that's yeah. Nightwing becoming Batman, <laughs> even though he doesn't want to. Yeah, it's, there is parody law. Yeah. It's like Weird Al gets away with just doing the music. Dumb McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's all happened before. Okay. Main event? You've asked if I, well, yes, in a second. You asked okay. if my conspiracy yeah. theories are ever correct. Yeah. You asked Nick. You're always talking about, oh, how X, Y, and Z could happen. You're uh-huh. like a doomsday cult. You're always changing the, oh, yeah. Yeah, straws are hard, aren't they, Danny? Straws are straws are difficult. I don't even know how that happened. No. I just sprayed out both yeah, sides. Because sometimes, like, sometimes you're just hanging out. You're in the moment. You're not thinking about it. You need water. You're like, oh, let me get the straw in my mouth. 
Yeah. Water everywhere. Damn. Yeah, it just happens. It can happen to any of it us. It can. It can happen to you. It can happen to me as well. We're raising awareness. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. For every five dollars that you send for straw awareness, we will take four of them. Yeah. We will kill a sea turtle. We will kill a sea turtle. <laughs> the we, greatest yeah. enemy to the straw. Metal, we'll <laughs> use the metal straws that we use to replace our plastic straws yeah. and gouge them through the eyes of fucking turtles. Stab it right through the nose. That's what people don't. That's what people aren't acknowledging the fact is that metal straws way better for killing turtles 100 if, if i had a plastic if i had a plastic straw and i was going yeah. on a turtles killing spree i could get one yeah maybe that's the best conspiracy that you've come up with yet is mm -hmm. that the like campaign to get plastic turned into metal straws was a coup by big straw to by be big like turtle enemy by bit yeah by big anti-turtle turtle, yeah, turtles have like natural enemies it's a big straw it's big straw <laughs> yeah. it's just like natural like as long uh, no, as time like, has who, existed who eats turtles sharks Bur birds Bur they flip them birds i, I don't who, birds do turtles have? i'm talking about sea turtles like you know big crazy? five foot round sea turtles you know what's you, you know why the tortoises like the super old tortoises in the galapagos are endangered why because sailors once they found the galapagos realized that tortoises can't run away from you and also <laughs> tortoises don't need to eat or drink water for like a year so they would just take a fuck ton of tortoises and put them on their ships when they went whaling and then whenever they would run out of food they would just kill the tortoises because they thought for the longest time back in like the 17 and 1800s back when whaling was a thing they thought tortoises didn't need to eat or drink because they can go like a year without eating or drinking so they would just stack up the bottom of their ships with tortoises Whoa. and when they would run out of foods they would just kill and eat and drink the blood of tortoises that's awesome isn't that wild that's really cool how is that not in like any media i mean if you listen to like if you like read anything about like whaling but i mean like that's such cool lore yeah just worth lore by the way whaling super happens in japan yeah that's absolutely fair they don't have sea turtles I'm uh, sure, but what oh money what is um, five dollars for turtle straws let's go fuck let's up go the turtles. Let's turtle day let's go <laughs> ladies and gentlemen turtle. before the end of the podcast guys make sure you call 1-800 kill all turtles and we can eradicate the curse that is turtles thank you so much hope sarah's not watching this i i doubt she is yeah what, what, would, what would be in her like in this for her nothing in watching this yeah support i guess that's fair all right on to how nick is always right about his theories so I'm always right about my theories because recently, chapter four of Boruto, Tubular Vortex, came out, and I'm a big, I'm a big theory guy. They're my, like mm -hmm. my videos that do the best is like when I theorize about Boruto. I'm like, oh, this is happening, this is happening, and this is why it's happening because people are like, oh, I want to know what's happening before right. because it's monthly. Yeah, thanks so, for the very specific rundown on what a theory is. What is the theory? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now you know. Yeah. So they're like 45 pages the chapter, so we get a lot. Like we get a lot of information every chat, like every month, but it's less than we would get if it was weekly. So you get like a big chunk of information all at once, and I break down that information, and I'm like, all right. Based on what I'm seeing, this is what I think next chapter is going to look like. And I predicted Two Blue Vortex Chapter 4 with almost 100% accuracy. Really? Two really big things happen in Two Blue Vortex. Mm -hmm. Like like this, like Chapter 4. I'm not going to say what they are. You could say spoiler, and then you can. Spoiler. Good. So I predicted yeah. that one, Borto would be like, like Borto was going to be taught by Kashin Koji. I predicted that months ago right this chapter it's revealed kashin koji and boruto have been working together and like it's a kind of like naruto and jiraiya because kashin koji is dry as clone after oh. that yeah after that more recently i predicted because like sasuke hasn't shown up in the in part two of the manga yet everyone's like what's going on here what's going on here i i, I want to like find sasuke is he dead is he has he been like disposed of somewhere is he like How battling do they keep fucking losing this guy because he's sneaky <laughs> He's so sneaky. sneaky. He's slippery. He's, for got sure. a, he's got a, It's all that Orochimaru training. It's that snake man slithering training. Slithering away. Yeah. Uh, not slithering away anymore though, because he is now a tree. <laughs> how how does that happen? Uh, you get bit by uh, you get bit by uh, a certain monster. It grows a tree around you, and then you are a tree. What a goof. What a goof. What a goofy dude. With his, so so Sasuke is a tree, which I predicted. So <laughs> how could I you went, have done that? I will. Okay. So that's so. I'm sorry. I don't do actually to, uh, mean. It's just funny. I don't really care. You want me to unpack it? <laughs> no, I don't. You're asking me to unpack the entire no. theory? You want we're me to like do it right now? We're like an hour in, and we're not even at our main event. Well, the the main event, I mean, after that, we don't have much after the main event. I mean, we have like our flashback and our I book one. stuff. You got some? We got a little stuff. You got some stuff? I got so anyways, I'm a genius, and all my theories are always yeah. correct. And also, JJK segue. Yeah. So, incredible episode of JJK. Yeah. A lot of stuff is happening with JJK. Season two might be canceled. Mappa might be closing. There's a lot going on. We're going to get into that in a second. I'm still going on my genius tyrant. Um, tyrade. Tyrade, there you go. There you go. Um, yeah, because I know big words. You're a genius tyrant. I 
honestly, if you had to take two words to describe me, I feel like a lot of people would end up going with that. Anyways, there was a couple of key mistranslations throughout the duration of this episode. The three biggest ones are Sukuna's malevolent shrine is called the malevolent kitchen. I did see that. I thought it was a different move. No. Oh, is this move. your Kirby theory? Sort of. Actually, yeah. like, literally exactly that. So, so malevolent shrine is called malevolent kitchen. Cleave and dismantle are called dissect and fillet. Every so everything's like Sukuna related. By the way, cleave and dismantle have been introduced prior in the anime. Like and like so has Malevolent Shrine. And he's like been like 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 domain expansion Malevolent Shrine. It's been said. But this chapter in particular, for some reason, this like episode, episode they decided to be like, all right, it's Malevolent Kitchen, and that's fillet and dissect. Yeah. Why are they switching now? So I literally just posted a video a couple of days ago being like Sukuna's curse technique revealed because of some stuff happening in the manga. But one of the theories about what Sukuna's curse technique is, is cooking. Right. It's cooking. It, it's like he literally like he uses these cooking techniques to eat other people and absorb their abilities. Right. Because he, he did. I for some reason, we never talked about it. Mm. How did he do fire in the last episode? So I, we didn't talk about this. No, really? Yeah. OK, this all Should came up. I in, know. Yes. yes, technically. Like, I should already If you know. had read the manga, it would have been more clear to you. It's hard to see in the anime, but it is shown in the anime. Okay. So, Jogo brings the ten fingers to Yuji's yeah. unconscious body, right? Those ten fingers, as you can see, like, every single one of the base of those ten fingers has a different element on it. Oh. So, like, the base of one of the fingers has rock. Another yeah. base has crystal. Another one has, like, what appears to be, like, like mud with a plant growing out of it. Right. So, all ten of those fingers appear to have some different kind of element. So, another working theory for what Sukuna's curse technique might be is that he has control, that, that he's, like, the original disaster curse. So, you know how Hanami is the, like, amalgamation of people's fear towards the woods? Okay. And yeah. Dagon is the sea. Yeah. And then Jogo is volcanoes and fire. Yeah. So people believe that there's a possibility that Sukuna is the original disaster curse because in an interview that Gigatami did, he said when Sukuna was alive, he was less like a person and more like a natural disaster. Oh, interesting. Which has gotten people believing that like he, after he died, became the true natural disaster curse. Gotcha. And that's why all of his fingers look different. So one of the fingers that he gets fed has like an ashy, like molten look to it. Right. So people believe that he ate like when Joe goes feeding him the fire finger, which is why he's able to shoot fire. However, people believe that also because you know how he's like says box. He's like, my ability is like white box. Yeah. He tells him to square up. Yeah. Like literally like <laughs> yeah. so people think that he did that because in JJK, if you reveal what your technique is, it makes it stronger. People think that there's a possibility that he did that because he didn't, he wanted, he didn't want the technique to be stronger and he wanted Joe to have a fighting chance. What did he say though? <laughs> You know, so a difficult yeah, ding, 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 ding. That's oh. what we need. Booby, booby bell on your side. Yeah. Somebody just spit up all over their fucking <laughs> lap on my side. The baby bell. Absolutely. Um. Well, so for context in the previous episode where Sukuna is fighting Jogo, he, he said, what's, what does he say? Fugu? Fuga is open. Fuga. Okay. Fuga is open. He goes, Fuga. But before that, there is a white square. So it's white square, any, yeah. comma, fuga. Mm -hmm. He doesn't say anything. Weird. Like, like it's, it, he says something, but yeah. it's not like Japanese. It's like gotcha. ancestral language. Right. Interesting. Yeah. Crazy. But so, okay, so he ate the fire finger. At least is a theory. But yeah. people also believe that that's like because, like, people also think that, like, maybe his only two abilities are fire and cutting because uh, his ability. So coincidentally? Well, no, because his ability is cooking. Is cooking? Yeah. So he can also season, theoretically. I Hypothetically, but he also, he, he might be white, you know. Well, he's not. I, it's Japanese. He's a cursed spirit. Well. I don't know if he has race. I suppose so. I guess when he was a human, he was Japanese. Yeah. So, maybe. So, um, so Furukake. Yeah. You put Furukake on Yeah, shit. a little soy. A little ponzu, a little yeah. mizu, yeah. 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 He's got something in him. He has something in him. That's so funny that he is just Kirby. Yeah interesting at least I, maybe i thought it was a different technique than the well, it would be. like he had a di no like like i thought malevolent kitchen was just literally a different technique oh, from no. malevolent shrine yeah so people are like okay why change it now because in the manga it's malevolent shrine it's cleave it's dismantle right. why change it now Weird. um and it might be because of what's going on at mappa it might have been a mistranslation or it could be a hint at the fact yeah. that like his curse technique is actually about to be revealed in the manga. Yeah. Because I do not think, like, I think 
the manga and the anime are sunk up to like show things about each other simultaneously because I think Gigatami is a genius. Uh-huh. Uh because what do we talk about? We talk about Dagon appearing simultaneously with Yuji's possible ability appearing in the manga. Oh yeah, can I just say briefly uh-huh. the fact that Dagon is weaker than Jogo? Ridiculous. Why? The fact that the 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 claim that people's fear of fire and volcanoes People are more for what? What's the biggest mountain? Most prevalent. All anime have it. Every. Fuji? Is that a volcano? Thousand percent, yes. Has it ever gone off? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. What is Japan geographically? An island? Correct. A volcanic Surrounded island. Surrounded by. Water. Yeah. Yeah. I think they should be more afraid of the water. They, I, I cannot recall the last time they were hit with a tsunami. The only thing that's ever... Recently. The, no. Like 2009. No. Nope. Yeah. Earthquake. No. Earthquake. Remember You're talking Gilbert about Godfrey? Fukushima. You're talking about Fukushima. You're talking about the, the uh, like radioactive like place that like melted down because an earthquake hit it. And, I don't like, think so. Yes. No. Gilbert Gottfried got in trouble uh-huh. when I was in high school because a tsunami hit Japan. Why would Gilbert Godfrey get in trouble? Because he made a joke about it. It wasn't, really? it wasn't the tsunami hit and people Earthquake were like, that started you did su- this, Gilbert. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone was like, you and your, you and your annoying voice, Gilbert. Without you. you is that- Why are they doing the voice, Adam? I, I don't know. You want to like really cut deep. I don't know. Yeah, I, I guess so. Apparently, I- it was an earthquake that started a tsunami, which is usually the way it works. Let's go. We're both right. Well. But so on both the northern and the southern island of Japan, there are incredibly. So like in uh, the northern island of Japan, there's also very famous volcanoes. And on the southern island of Japan, obviously, Fuji is one of the biggest things in Japan. Interesting. So like, entire lives are built around Fuji. Right. And you're like, holy fuck, hope <laughs> that doesn't go up. Every morning they wake up, they peek out their window, and they're like, please, please, oh, oh we're thank good. God. We're good. Uh, uh, Vesuvius? No, we're all right. Cool. They throw up every morning. They're incredibly thin. There's a super haunted uh, amusement park right next to Fuji. Yeah? That's like, that's like, if the closer you get to Fuji, the spookier shit gets. <laughs> Yeah. It's sick. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, also, that's cool that it's cultural. Yeah. So that's why people are afraid of Hanami. Right. But also, like, Hanami, like, go, like, Jogo is stronger than Dagon, but, like, we don't really know. Like, Dagon never fights Tsukuna. Do they ever, and then we'll get into the actual episode. Uh-huh. Do they ever explore other countries? No. That's, Not even once. I wish all of these anime. You want to know why? Why? Because you actually don't know. Why? Apparently in JJK, and I guess like kind of in real world, Japan has the most negative feelings out of anywhere because like the suicide rate is so high. So apparently cursed, like cursed spirits aren't a problem. Like they they like exist, but like they're not nearly as much of a problem anywhere else but Japan. Well, Chainsaw Man explores other countries. Yeah. But well, America at least. And Russia. But And Russia. Oh, you have not yet. yet. It's technically still the Soviet Union. Well, that's why it's interesting. Like, there's so China actually. There's so many anime that are like, we're you know these are global and Canada. I'm sorry, continue. Well, there we go. That's sick. Like, all these anime are like we're a like facing global threats Mm -hmm. and like this and that and it's like right. It's cool that like the Jogo so strong because. So many people in Japan fear fire and volcanoes. Yeah. It'd be sick to be like, what is the strongest cursed spirit in America? Chainsaw Man makes it like the gun devil, at least for the now. The 12-year-old with the Glock devil. Yeah. Yeah. Which is sick. Mm-hmm. Um, well, you know, it's subjective. <laughs> well, it's, <laughs> <laughs> fucking, there we go. Isolate that one. It's cool that it's like specific and tailored to like actual mm. cur- uh, the heart cultural disease, events. Oh, the heart disease devil. For where and whom? I the the hardening the hard artery devil. Here. We are so not afraid of that. That's genuinely which fair. is why so many of us have heart disease. We barrel into that bitch. <laughs> yeah. And if anything, that would be the weakest devil. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, do I love deep fried shit? Um, but anyway, this episode crazy. What'd you think? People are complaining about it. People suck. I people like because people in your comments because you were talking about it. You were talking about like what's going on. I saw on in that Mamba, one guy, and he was like, <laughs> that explains why the episode looks so ass. And like, here's the thing. Yeah. That's one guy. I do want to clarify. Yeah. That's the only instance of this I've seen. But I do. I want to play devil's advocate. Yeah. I, I, I think this episode, I actually, in my notes, um, this opening is like a horror movie with a muted tone was sick. Do you understand the 10 shadows? This episode is gorgeous. So in my notes, gorgeous. Probably the best looking episode outside of the last episode all season. Yeah. 
I could understand where somebody would look at this fight and be like, that doesn't look good. It's very, because I send you like a picture too. There's one mm. picture where he is. He's on the, Sukuna's yeah, on the, the big old cube. Sukuna's on a big cube mm. looking like a little dough boy. Yeah. He's got no detail. No, none whatsoever. And it's not even just like a frame I plucked. Mm -hmm. It's like at oh, least two scene. seconds. Yeah. yeah. It's like two seconds. And like, the thing is, I think being like this episode looked like ass is an incredibly like misinformed yes. opinion mm -hmm. because it's like that there is so much movement. There is such an insane amount happening yeah. and so many unique drawings and frames in this episode that most shows just don't have. Mm -hmm. Like we had such a great discussion last week about how everyone's like, I, I saw a comment that was like Demon Slayer's worst episode is as good as JJK's best. Yeah. Like people think Demon Slayer looks better and it's because Demon Slayer can look more detailed and shinier because there isn't that much movement. Yeah. This is so, this is like mob psycho levels of movement and it's every other episode. It's almost every episode now. It's, it's been the last three episodes straight. Every fight in this season is like, a season finale level fight yep. in the highest budget anime ever made. And it's like, not, none of these fights have been the biggest fight. Yeah. It's great. We have six episodes. Wait, 17, 17, three, three. We have six, six episodes. episodes left. Yeah. We have six episodes. Yep. That's a ton. And it's not slowing down. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, there's a lot of like low detail moments in this, but it's because people are moving so fucking much. Yeah. There's also moments where it's just, a different art style entirely in this episode. Like yeah. they do get like kooky it with got this shit. So devil man cry baby yeah. in the beginning when it's like Megami, like it's like Megami, like being like, I'm going to die first. Like him talking to like Yuji. And it's like right before Maharaga, like smacked him straight up devil man cry baby where the lines get super bold and yeah. like, kind of like, not like, yeah. not like, like, not like badly sketched, but they begin to like seep in where they wouldn't yeah. usually be. Yeah, no, they they are straight kooky, if I may say myself. It was with this episode sick. It was so cool. I do agree. The opening with the big monster mm -hmm. skulking about. I had a note that I remember, and then like Megami running away with like the blood, and like yeah. it, also this episode more than any episode this season. And by the way, we're talking about Maharaga versus uh, Tsukuna episode, mm -hmm. uh, which is episode seventeen. Uh, this episode more than any other episode of this season did silence so goddamn well 100%. like no background noise whatsoever to set like that like unsettling feeling yeah. of like the gravity that is a situation did it so well i, I don't yeah. think any director in any anime ever has nailed the use of silence as well as this season of jjk has yeah it i like had a note where i was like halfway through like the beginning of this episode i was like oh that's right jjk is kind of a horror anime sometimes oh yeah only really in like jjk zero the Zero movie has, like, a horror-esque opening. Mm -hmm. And then this is spooky as fuck. Yeah. And I love it. They do it so well. And it helps that, like, all of... I know you said that the JJK universe is, like, technically a weaker universe. Mm -hmm. It helps that all the threats feel fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, what makes them so spooky, too, is that it's, like... Right, Sukuna, his ability is so abstract. Mm -hmm. Like, all the abilities are, like... What the fuck is happening to me? Yeah. You know, whereas like Naruto care. Well, Naruto's kind of scary too, but like my hero, there's never been a sense of scare, uh, fear really because it's like everyone's powers are so like understandable mm. and power. E that guy's got an, a laser that shoots out of his belly. Yeah. She's invisible. Yeah. She makes shit like everything yeah. in this. It's like, what the fuck do you do? And even after your explanation, I'm not going to get it. So I actually, that's a great question. So I, would love to do a Nick Explains Corner. What are you confused on? Maharaga 10 Shadows technique. Do you understand it? Maharaga 10 Oh, he just... Uh, they called, it... Also, they called Maharaga. In the manga, it's Maharaga. In the anime, it was Makora? I believe they called it Makora? Weird. Yeah, I don't know why. I think it's like a difference in pronunciation, yeah. maybe. But in the manga, it's straight up Maharaga. Weird. It's eight-handled divine general Maharaga. He's the blonde ponytail guy. No. Oh. That's Haruta. Are you talking about the big monster? Big monster with the wheel on its back. That's Maharaga. Oh, it just adapts. Yeah. I mean. Did you understand it's sword? Sword. Sword. The sword it had on its hand. 
Um, he just has a sword. No. What are you yes, talking about? Kind of. The sword is imbued with positive energy. Oh, yeah? So cursed cursed spirits are made entirely out of negative energy. So if it stabs its positive energy blade uh-huh. into a cursed spirit, the cursed spirit dies. It's so doesn't have to. It could what just be a sword. Well, okay, you know? well, so like Sukuna acknowledges yeah, yeah. it, like he blocks it. I He's do like, remember if that. If I was now, a cursed yeah. spirit, I would have died. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do remember that. It's just funny that mm-hmm. it's like, especially because it doesn't do anything in that instant. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So he kills it. He ends up killing it. So it's like to be like, this is an ability it has that doesn't work. Mm-hmm. This one and only time you will ever see him is so like, whatever. It'd be like introducing. Yeah, it's the last time. It's the, yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, that's good. I like it's that he comes back. The last time you see him. <laughs> okay, he's... good. Well, then that's better. Gone. It's gone. <laughs> Well, because I was going to say, it'd be like being like Luffy fights a character. This actually kind of happens in Skypiea. What? Well, it's like. Luffy fights a character with lightning abilities. With lightning abilities. And it's like, well, why even give him that? (laughs) Because to establish, well, first off, Luffy shouldn't have even been in that fight. Anel is like late stage powerful. Like Anel is like god of Skypiea because he can like throw lightning from miles away. He's like late stage, like deep into the grand line powerful and Luffy only wins because his ability yeah. doesn't work on him. I mean more it, it works with the Nell because he's like affecting everyone else. Mm-hmm. I mean like if Luffy went into a dungeon and found a guy who was like a lightning user mm-hmm. but also a good fighter so it's like they fight, it's still tense it's three episodes long and he's like also if you were anyone else I'd have electricity That's it's like why so- even mention the electricity that literally Happened. just fucking happened to the JJ <laughs> like exactly as you're fucking explaining it that li- that's exact scenario just happened to the JJK manga <laughs> that's so like, funny like that is uh, you couldn't have explained it better that's literally the, it happened exactly like that it's just like if this big monster didn't show up again it's like why even give him a positive energy sword mm-hmm. why not just be like oh he has a sword yeah um, it, yeah. uh, to make him scarier yeah. I but guess. then again like he's never Maharaga's never like fighting against cursed spirits yeah so it's like this means nothing yeah like if you <laughs> so. stab a person with a positive energy sword it might actually heal them yeah because that's, that's so how funny. reverse curse technique works yeah <laughs> I, was, I was waiting on you no, you're just, about to yes, go I agree yeah I'm so proud of you do you understand how 10 shadows works is that the luck thing luck thing? what's 10 shadows he 10 just shadows adapts, is what Megami right? has oh he just sucked. they have to summon the shikigami yeah, they have to defeat something. it you have to defeat it by yourself if you don't yeah. defeat it by yourself you don't get the shikigami yeah and nobody's ever defeated maharaka yeah, yeah, yeah got it cool enough yeah like it didn't add or subtract anything i was like cool he summons a big final boss that's yeah. sick and like he like it kills him yeah but then he's in a suspended animation sukuna heals him yeah. so sukuna is like insanely powerful but especially when it comes to reverse curse technique because even gojo can't use reverse curse technique on other people oh, but sukuna can and the only other person who can do it is the girl who used to smoke okay. um you know like she's like now wears a lab coat and she's got like super like yeah, baggy yeah, eyes yeah. uh but like she was like with gojo and ghetto yeah. back in the day um so that's why sukuna dropped megami off with them because like he was like oh make sure you save him because he's interesting to me right 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 so how do you out of all the fights this season how do you stack this one up against everything else we, man, we do this like every week, which is just a testament to how crazy. Because we kind of have to. At the end, we have to rank them. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah. Once, you, well, it might be at the end now. What do you mean? You said this isn't even the biggest fight. Well, I mean, we might be at the end for a while. Oh, well, true. Yeah. Um, I guess I won't do like a ranking ranking because mm-hmm. I'm sure I'll forget a fight. It's. Just give me where, like, in between two fights, like, it's like, oh, yeah. it's top three. I or... still don't think. It's better than the Gojo Toji one for me. Okay. Because I rewatched it today for mm-hmm. a video about JJK. Um, and it's just there there's more weight and context behind the Toji and Gojo one. Yeah. This is probably second best. Better I, than Jogo versus Sukuna. Sukuna for sure. Really? Well, I don't know. Man, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, forget it. Like, they're almost, there's almost so many and so many that are great that I'm like taking it for granted. I made a video where I was like, this is the best season fight wise ever. And people yeah. were like, you forgot about Mechamaru versus Mahito. I was going to say, that's maybe my second. And I was like, how the fuck did I forget? It's an incredible fight. The only reason, like, that isn't a definitive second is because there's too much ghosting. Like, I need to see it on Blu-ray. Yeah. It's like, 
that one's egregious. That scene of Mechamaru like doing the Gurren Logan punch yeah. and like snagging his like uh like empty, I think it was like an empty domain to stab into Mahito was so sick. And yeah. then the scene following Mahito as he yeah, turned into a great. bunch of different animals, like one of the most impressive things I've ever seen in animation. That the fact, because at the time when I saw that, I was mm -hmm. like, man, this could use a few more frames. Mm -hmm. Now seeing what the rest of the season had in store, I'm like fuck me that should have had half the frames yeah i can't even believe they fit that in of an episode that's borderline like filler yeah like it's the setup to it's literally yeah. just like oh and now the shibuya incident has happened it's just so unbelievable like we are living in such a time we don't deserve oh for sure <laughs> for like if you like if like the average anime fan does not deserve the anime we're currently getting and should we get into that we probably should i'm trying to think um watching maharaga adapt in real time was sick it did yeah. not oh also maharaga did not fight back this hard in the manga like the fight really? is not nearly this long which is yeah. like a key example of mappa like the same thing happened with jogo and chozo or no yeah. jogo versus sukuna that battle is not nearly it's yeah. basically what happens in that battle is sukuna punches the chin off jogo he's like ow and then sukuna's like get up and then he <laughs> throws him out the building and he's like you were strong and then he kills him damn and then like mappa just been mappa flexing mappa's just been taking these fights and just being like oh we're gonna get from this scene to this scene by jogo creating a lava avatar that twin towers onto yeah. sukuna like the amount of extra work they're putting in to yeah. make these fights absolutely neck breakingly a gorgeous and be impressive the scene of sukuna flying through a building well, yeah. one him back him like back flipping up a building was very funny to me yeah uh, when maharag is doing the hulk smash it's up after him very fast yes <laughs> he's like, yeah it's silly it like, was, yeah, and then he's he was like, he was jumping through the mall and throwing the slices yeah. out uh but the most impressive scene to me is when maharag is throwing all the cars and you see sukuna kick, oh yeah you see sukuna kick a cleave yeah. and it slices the top of maharag's head off and he just goes <laughs> Yeah. He just attaches it back. You see, I like don't even remember. There's too much anime and too many fights right now. The thing is, the fight is so hectic, it's almost hard to remember yeah. what happened in it. It's so good. I like I kind of want to watch twice. it again. I, I want to watch it twice. today when I go home. Yeah, like, yeah. I was like, I watched it with Dorothy and I was like, she was talking to me the entire time. I need to watch it again. Fucker. Fucking <laughs> Loser! No, I'm kidding. Uh, I love my, I love my wife. Is that why when I walked in, she was just, she looked like invincible after Omni? Yeah, I was just like, you know, she's not Don't here. Hey, hey. Yeah, just her face. Like, yeah, she's closed. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, baby. I took a <laughs> phone call during JJK 17. Jeez. Oh. I love my wife. But like. <laughs> Don't ask out, where she is. Spitting blood with every word. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I, to, hey, baby. Can I get you anything to drink? <laughs> No. Oh, Dorothy's blood all in my mimosa. <laughs> I didn't order a mimosa, and this is mostly no, blood. That's that's AB AB positive blood. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, but uh, anyway, it's, yeah. too, it's too funny. Love the love the wife hating know, bitch that we do. Funny, yeah. it's horrible. Um, yeah. but that's why I think we maybe talked about this before. We did when comparing this to like Demon Slayer. Mm -hmm. Because, yes, this fight was a incredible. I have no notes. Mm -hmm. I have a possibly inflammatory question. Gotcha. And again, necessarily, 9 out of 10 fight, like 10 out of 10, up there. Okay. Is there too much fighting in this season? Are you saying that they're front-loading all the fights and there won't be any more left? No. I'm saying if somebody... Because for season two... Mm -hmm. I had people be like, of oh, season two of Demon Slayer. I remember people were like, I didn't like it that much. And I was like, that's crazy. I can't believe you. Why? And they were like, it's just a big fight. Like, there's not enough story. And I was like, there's so much storytelling through the fight. It's so nuanced, this and that. If somebody was like, I don't love JJK season two. It's all fighting. I like couldn't be mad. Okay. Here's the thing. Yeah. Anybody who said that about season two of Demon Slayer is a loser. Because here's the thing. Demon Slayer season two is the perfect example of telling a story through the medium of fighting. Like, mm -hmm. the best example that I can think of is Tengen doing his musical score yeah. technique. In the manga, they, like, do a whole, like, like takeaway yeah, thing where they, where they explain how it works. 
in the anime, all they did was like they showed that Tengen is like getting into a groove and he's learning Gyotaro's moves, mm -hmm. and now he's able to make a musical score of like what he believes that that like like now I understand how Gyotaro fights, so I can establish like how to move and how to counteract. Yeah. And they did that perfectly. That is the exact example of how you tell a story through the medium of action. Ah. Uh -huh. And they do that over and over and over again. They get into Daki's backstory. They get into Gyotaro's backstories. They, they get into all these backstories and they tell the story while this fight is going. Like the background is this incredible fight. The only beef you could have with season two is that the fact that it takes a while to get to that fight. Well, it's just, and I've talked about this to death, but they like just in the fight, like taking out the backstories of the, of. No, no, not two at a time. No, out, out. Not two at a time. Not two at a time. What? One dog at a time. Two dogs, they start playing, and then shit gets broken. Um. <laughs> Holy shit. I wish you could hear that. A dog just slammed into our door. <laughs> just thought about, like, Neutron <laughs> slamming it, like, back first somehow. Like, Sarah just threw oh, him over thinking, her shoulder. I was thinking of Neutron just, like, freaking wag you up over his head, just yes. fucking throwing him through the door. Just on the table, like, scrambling. I got three minutes <laughs> yeah. with you. Holy shit. I feel, like, I feel like we're being shelled <laughs> in World War One. Like, like, the room shakes and some dust just comes dust down. Just dust down. Like, um, that was a kilometer away. But, uh, fucking... I've talked about this to death before with Demon Slayer, but like the fight is such a great, like has such great narrative momentum mm -hmm. where like they do everything they can to take on Daki and then they finally beat her on their own. And then it turns out that there's a brother and then like Nezuko goes ballistic and mm -hmm. it's just like everyone's learning something about themselves, about each other. Yeah. As the fight goes and on. And Nezuko is such a good example of that. Yeah, yeah. Like, it re like us realizing, oh, Nezuko if gets angry. Yeah. She becomes more of a demon, and mm. that's an issue. And Same that's with told Tanjiro, though. Yeah. With his, like, new breathing technique that, like, slowly kills him. Yeah. It's like we're showing character development yeah. through the medium of this fight. And that, to me, is exactly what season two of JJK is. Because the, no fight is just happening because here, the, I've talked about this to death. But season two of TYBW is the example of fighting to fight. You have just say bleach. No one will know. Because well, even if season you two know, of bleach, season two of bleach is the fucking Waco no Mundo. No one will think that. They, they <laughs> absolutely will, Daniel. <laughs> season two of bleach. Say the latest season of bleach. Just why can't I just say TYB? No one Bumble? knows. Why can't I? Say <laughs> Thousand year blood war arc. Yeah, there you go. Is that okay. what you want from me? No, I want the latest of bleach. Go on. If they listen to the podcast, they know I'm a big TYBW homie. I guess I'll so. Put it, I put it down from a T Y. <laughs> Holy shit. B how would you do that so fast? I fuck it because I'm gang. <laughs> yeah, you I'm are gang. gang. Right, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were gang. Put it I'm away. Gang. Stop with the okay. knife. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Anyways, so I'm talking about this to death. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Clip that bad boy, my kid. Um, um, is that like the newest yeah. season of Bleach is just fights for fights. Fights sake. for fights. It's like, oh, that person's over there, right. and now they're fighting a Stern Ritter. And right. it's like, okay, what are we doing here? But in JJK's recent season, it's like, okay. Jogo is battling against Sukuna because Sukuna is this domineering, all-powerful entity. And he's like, if you're going to tell me what to do, you got to hit me. Right. And it's like, like you show me you're powerful enough to boss me around and maybe I'll listen. And then it's like, all right, Megami is getting stabbed to death. And he's like, Megami multiple times up until this point of the anime has gone to like go summon Maharaga and has like either been knocked out or just like somebody has saved him before he had to use Maharaga. Yeah. And so like, this is the final time when no one is around to save him. So he summons Maharaga. Maharaga. So like all of these fights playing into each other is because of how grand the uh, like event is like how grand of the event is Shibuya incident. Yeah. Because the reason the Shibuya incident is being orchestrated in the first place by Kenjaku was to make as much cursed energy as possible. Right. So he's trying to make basically orchestrated all of these cursed spirits coming together simultaneously to make Shibuya hell on earth for a night to gather as much cursed energy like energy as possible to start the next arc. Right. Yeah. Do you think? I mean, I don't know. I think there's some fights because you saying that a lot of these fights like Jogo and stuff in the manga are way shorter. Mm -hmm. I think, and we'll get into this for the sake of the animators, this so they there's like four or five episodes mm -hmm. that they could get rid of. Not like totally, but I think they could condense shit. Keep Jogo because that's a hype fight. Like yeah. you want a big fight for Jogo's death. I think Mr. Hit Me Softly 
didn't need so much. Like that's what I'm saying. Right. There's like that is but a they fight did, for they, a fight. They did go hard with that. Like, like it's yeah. a good. Like looking back at that fight now, yeah. it's fine comparatively. It, yeah, comparatively, it's fine. Otherwise, it's like, oh wow, good animation. This R- is well great done. Great fight. Yeah. But that's like that's one where I'm like, we could scrap that. Mm-hmm. Like and but again. I don't, I'm more, I'm more posing the question. I don't think there's too many fights. I am enjoying it, but I am wondering if that's because I never really liked the story to begin with. Mm-hmm. That's what made me want to ask the question. Cause I was like, when, right when the Gojo stuff ended mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, Yuji's back. And then, oh, uh, the thing with the fat girl. And then, uh, the cricket, mm-hmm. I'm like, Oh, maybe I don't like this show. And then the fights start happening. And I'm like, how can I not love this show? It's sick. The best thing I've ever seen. And so I'm wondering if like season three, they reel it in with the fights or with the animation for whatever reason, if I'm going to be like, oh, maybe I just like the fights because they're well animated. The season three is really different from Shibuya Instant, but also Mm. kind of the same where it's like, it's more about world building. It's more about like uh like something bad just happened. We are now world building to get our way around it. Right, There's right. rules. It's like a it's like a contest arc sort of. Okay, cool. But it, it's not like a you know like you're like tournament. It's, yeah, it's not a tournament, but it's like we need to gather points and yeah, yeah. like this kind of thing. So it's like that happens. And there's a bunch of really cool fights that happen that progress characters, like storylines. There's like Yuji dealing with the guilt of having Sukuna kill hundreds, if not thousands of people using his body. It's like a big thing. Right, so right. The, the, there's a massive tonal shift that starts in this episode, the end of the yeah. episode, not the end of the episode. Did you see the end of the episode? I did. Okay, good job. You watched yeah. the end. I'm proud of you. Yeah, so, it was pre-credits. Yeah. Oh, you're right. It was pre-credits. Yeah. You're right. Um, so, but like before that is Yuji like waking up and yeah. like Tsukuna's like revel in the sight. Yeah. And it's just like him realizing that he's murdered. Yeah. Tens of thousands of people. So it's like, this is the episode where Yuji begins to lose his smile. Like the smile, like you do not see Yuji smile from this point on yeah. like so the parts of the story that you don't like like the kitty like oh we're in high school i'm a panda let's like right. compete like oh kyoto school come and fight us kind of thing that's done mm. it's shibuya incident from here on out everyone's like oh the shibuya incident is so tough it's the rest of the show it's is shibuya, tough. Is shibuya <laughs> yeah. incident. yeah i i do like i believe you because i've asked before where i'm like is this peak and you say no I do. I am like, God, where do they go from this? Like, this is crazy, which is hype. I'm excited. It's not, it's not like exponential. As long as it coasts from here, it like does, stay on this go, plateau. Like never yeah, goes down. That's hype. Yeah. The end end. Um, that's another thing I hope sticks. I hope so. Nanami has half of his body burned off. Yes. He is two facing it like mm-hmm. a motherfucker. He's not looking great. The thirst traps not happening anymore. I hope that doesn't heal. The you want the you yeah, know, I to want it to stick. Yeah. I'll be so mad if it doesn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, no, it's definitely a good look. It definitely yeah. gets rid of the thirst traps. That's for sure. No one was yeah. like, oh my god, I want this guy to grab me by the yeah. hair. You know, no. Nope. If like I, you want him to get a coin and everything. Yeah, I want a coin. I mm-hmm. want Batman. I want him to kill the bat. Yeah. Um, but like no, because I consider stuff like that to be quote unquote death baiting, where it's like if someone loses a hand mm-hmm. or whatever, and it's like, oh fuck, that's crazy. That's huge. Arc ends hand healed. Let me tell you right now. Yeah. Anybody who loses a hand, and there are many people about to lose hands in JJK, never get it back. Other than Yuji. He's different. Constantly using hands, He's losing different. hands. He, he was scraping. He was scraping the hell out of his fingers. But he lost his hand to uh, the blood guy. The he Chozo, yep. Lost hand there. Mm-hmm. Lost a hand to um, Mr. Abe Sapien in season one. Abe Sapien? The Hellboy fish that he fights with Megumi. Oh, you're talking about the finger bearer. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gets his hand cut off. Mm-hmm. Losing hands like it's nobody's Abe business. Sapien. From Hellboy. The fish guy in Hellboy. I've never seen Hellboy. Well. I do love Ron Perlman, though. Yeah. Love Ron Perlman. Yeah, yeah. We just watched Don't Look Up last night. He's hardly in it. He, he was in it and it was funny. Yeah, well, he is good in it, yeah. but anyway. I love Ron Perlman. Um, um, but, but yeah, I, I want Nanami's body to stay burned. Like, mm-hmm. don't, don't ever make me go, whoa, that's crazy just for the sake of being that's crazy yeah, like don't. i want the repercussions don't worry it, it'll stick sick it sticks yeah cool. you know he he, he he burnt he burnt for the rest mm. of the time um he crispin oh he crispin <laughs> oh he, he crispy <laughs> he uh, so outside of that yeah yuji loses his smile yeah uh the manga goes a lot the manga doesn't go nearly as hard as the anime damn uh, love that they were doing the bells and chimes for music it was super unsettling 
And that's basically it. Yeah, music ruled. The music was very good. Yeah. Now, let's get on to the real news. So here's a thing. I almost segued into it, what, half an hour ago? Mm -hmm. um, you uh, commended the director for the lack of silence. Or the, 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 the silence, yeah, rather. The silence, yeah. Lack of music and stuff. Boy... What a day to commend the director. Because mm -hmm. he sure needs it. He really does. I have been in such a bummed out mood all day. Yeah. Because would you like to would you like to explain? I actually think you're going on a pretty good tangent. I think yeah? I think I'm gonna trust you with it. Yeah. I've been in such a bummed out mood all day. This was Danny's news originally, and then he realized I posted a YouTube video about it this morning. I thought I had the hot scoop. He Someone was... DM'd me about yeah. it. Just some random enjoyer of JJK. Mm -hmm. Not even an insider. Yeah. Um, but it, it, today today just felt bleak and like the the clouds were out not mm -hmm. really but it just felt like a rainy day because so many animators and the director of jjk have been tweeting about just fucking hating working on this season mm -hmm. the director posted and you could give the context to this because i don't really know the context so too the much. director of season two episode 12 uh i forget what his name is exactly he posted a picture from shirabako which is an anime about making anime and he tweeted this picture of a scene in shirabako where an animator is going to you know do the good old rope dangle yeah uh, and it's so like no caption no caption just an image of a girl hanging herself well, you want to know why everything that they were sending out was incredibly cryptic why? because mappa yes yeah, so mappa all, looks all of well all of this is about mappa but when you go to work for mappa they make you sign a myriad of ndas right. that bind you to make sure a you're not talking about the project you're working on that makes sense but b that you're never talking about the work conditions at MAPPA. Yeah. So now everybody, like the animators and the directors of anybody who's worked on season two have been taking to Twitter and Reddit to be like, I'll leave you with one word, scum, was a tweet with, by one of the main an yeah. animators. And somebody was also, somebody was like, um, leave your key card in the trash on the way to the parking garage. Uh, like stuff wow. like that. But they're not saying like MAPPA sucks dick. They're yeah. not like, no, no one's saying that. Like, it's just like, well, I- It's funny because it's like the equivalent of like, when a like Chinese or Japanese show isn't gay, mm -hmm. where it's like, yeah, no one's kissing, but I'm still shocked it got past the censors. Yeah. Like everyone's like, ooh, incredibly cryptic tweets that we've decoded. Mm -hmm. Who's this fooling? It's so clearly about MAPA yeah. and the hellish work conditions. It's like, how are these not breaking NDA? Mm -hmm. I guess they're not technically, but yeah, go on. So it's like, is everything had to be cryptic. Like yeah, everything, yeah. So everyone's being like, oh. This. Everything had to be hardly cryptic. Well, so then a lot of animators used to tweet, like a lot of animators have tweeted about, oh, how bad MAPPA is, or like the meme of like, oh, MAPPA, like MAPPA animators never see their families and other retweeting things like that. And so now like at least 10 either directors or animators have taken to Twitter or Reddit to be like, I'm done. I'm over it. Yeah. We're like, like we're being asked unreasonable, like, like yeah. unreasonable work hours, things like this. And what's been revealed is basically JGK, like season two episodes are getting done hours before they air yeah. hours. And if you guys remember between hidden inventory and premature death, they took six weeks off. And so six weeks, six weeks off. off. They took six weeks off. Yeah. Between. Do you don't really? remember? Yeah. That's no. why it's still running. We went six weeks without JJK. Mm hmm. I don't remember that at all. It was not great. It wasn't good. Whoa. Yeah. All uh, right, go on. <laughs> but I think other things were airing simultaneously. There was another uh, big thing airing back then. Yeah. Last season. Crazy. There was something airing. Anyways, so there was a big gap in time there uh, between the, the two seasons, and that was because the animators wanted to, like, A, catch up, and B, because I think there were some synchro like synchronicities they wanted between the anime and the manga. Problem is... It's kind of like when you're running the pacer test and you get to the line and you have seven seconds left, you catch your breath. You run to the next line, you have six seconds until eventually you're running yeah. and like you're touching the line. It's like, beep, and you touch the line, you got to go. Pacer test is fucked, by pacer the way. Pacer test is child abuse. Straight up, <laughs> it's straight up child abuse. I realized in seventh grade, oh, what the fuck am I running this for? And I would just quit. I would quit like 10 in. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, oh no, I missed the line. And my teachers would be like, <laughs> you have to do it and i'm like fuck you i do yeah what? make me yeah, what like, where's like, the cattle prod absolutely yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. there's no carrot or stick fuck you yeah um and if you're still running the pacer test simply don't uh, yeah you know what you do turn to your gym teacher say pay me and see what happens put a dollar on each line every time yeah. i get back True. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh cool i'll snag that you yeah think I, I would run the pacer test 
for hours if it was money. We would be such a fit country. Oh my God, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so it's kind of like that where like they took this big time off, so they got a couple of episodes yeah. done in the front there, and then slowly but surely, it would be like, oh my God, three hours before it airs, the episode is done, take it. Yeah. Uh, and then they'd be like, oh, cool. Oh shit, we have to start on the next one now. Yeah. And so it's like, now there's just no time. They're getting these episodes done at MAPPA in seven days. Yeah. Seven days. Never, first off, if you're complaining about the animation, try doing that in seven days. A. B, you would not lost, you would not last a week. A, no. no American worker would last a week in a Japanese company, period. Absolutely. Let not. alone MAPPA. Absolutely. Um, it is, they're not paying overtime. They're just 100 hour work weeks. You sleep there. It's everything that ZOM 100 was is mappa and everything every meme that we've made is real yeah. like they're not seeing their families or anything like that so what happened we're all it all kind of accumulated because people are like oh why now what's happening so after the release of chapter 16 they requested a delay the animators and the production committee denied it they're like no you don't get a delay because a delay is lost money for us yeah. now we have to buy new time slots we have to try and sell a time slot we have yeah. we have to remarket we have to be like hey there's a delay um, now watch it X, Y, it's like ZOM 100. Yeah. ZOM 100 in bug films lost a ton of money because they're like, hey, now it comes out on Christmas. But who the fuck is going to watch it because it's gone, it's over. Mm -hmm. They fucked it. Uh, the exact same situation with that. So it's like, but the problem is it's not just MAPA because on that production committee also sit like high level employees for Toho and Soatia. So Toho is a production company. Soatia owns everything under the yeah. sun when it comes to anime and manga. So there has to be a unanimous, not a unanimous, but like a like a majority vote to agree on a delay. Yeah. And basically the higher brass at MAPA, Toho, and Suecia just told the animators, get fucked, do it. Right. Uh, which is why, like, that's why after that, like, denied delay, everybody decided to go to Twitter and Reddit and post all these kinds of things. The reason me and Danny are talking about it now, obviously, is, you know, fuck the MAPA. Yeah. yeah. Um, like, you know, like, obviously, like, we should blast out the fact that MAPA is abusing its employees and like MAPA is one of the biggest animation studios on earth. They have the money to hire more employees to make this easier on everybody. Yeah. Uh, more animators or just give time, like just delay it. Yeah. We'll just, be all right. You have the money. This is the biggest anime end of sentence. So the, the, the reason that a lot of people believe that they're delaying it in the first place is because Chainsaw Man lost them a bunch of money and JJK is there. It's because what's going on at MAPA right now, if you guys remember last week, the hour and a half fucking gorgeous episode of Attack on Titan came out, and that was done by Mappa. Yeah. So this has been the most like intense, big, yeah, big like, month. For last Mappa. couple of months for Mappa, it's like, oh, I like half of the yeah. work is now AOT's finale, and the other half is, oh, we have yeah. to animate the biggest season of the number one anime yeah. on Earth, and it's, they're trying to rake in as much money from Attack on Titan and JJK as possible because of the money they lost on Chainsaw Man. Well, it's also the end of the financial quarter. Yeah. So right now is a good time to get all that shit in, mm -hmm. um, especially with advertisers and stuff like that. But like, yeah, dude, it sucks. Like the reason what makes it even worse, because mm -hmm. like, you know, like we've been in a strike, not us. Yeah. But like, uh, SAG, oh, yeah. yeah, I've been I've been struggling to not talk yeah. about the marbles. <laughs> SAG. SAG and the WGA were in a strike for a long time, like mm. several months. And like it did like, obviously I'm like in the film industry, like I'm a filmmaker and stuff like that. But like it didn't cast such a gloom on me as this did. Yeah. Because this is such like it, it like, it's like heartbreaking that JJK season two is such a like, groundbreaking historically well animated yeah unbelievably impossibly well made season and it's like they're punished for it yeah like that is the cost of it like it sucks that like there is so much passion and heart being poured out on it and they're just getting shit on and that's why it sucks too to see comments where people are like yeah the animation was ass and like if it got delayed dumbass like ignorant people would be like what the fuck like where's the rest of the season like yeah. mappa's got to get its shit together like that the fact that it's so good brutalizes my heart yeah the, this is why i was talking earlier i was like the average anime fan doesn't deserve yeah. the anime we're getting right now is because this news is leaking and tons of people are like i don't give a shit don't let them see their families i need to see the rest of this peak yeah get fucked people are so entitled over nothing yeah. like over shit they don't 
deserve. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I love media, you know, but big fan of uh, yeah. my job as well. You yeah, know? huge fan of my job. Huge fan of talking about media. If JJK season three took like five years to come out, sick. There's other shit. There's boy, shit oh boy, will I see you then? Yeah, there's shit that's come out already, like that people were abused to make. Like, <laughs> fucking make a change like yeah. i don't know it's it's crazy and it's good at least like also part of the gloom is that like there's so little you could do from america oh yeah other than like also our opinions mean next to nothing means nothing to them the yeah. only, like i i was watching like i saw the tweets and i was like fuck it i'm pirating the blu-ray like yeah. i'm not i'm not buying that shit download that shit absolutely yeah like where it hurts yeah like fuck you guys but yeah it sucks that there's like nothing that could be done from america And, like, the only kind of glimmer of hope is that I've heard from people, like, I have a friend who, like, works on Invincible as a storyboard artist, and she has a friend who, like, worked as a foreign freelancer on this season of JJK, Mm -hmm. and she was like, there are talks of, like, walkouts, Mm -hmm. which I think is pretty unprecedented. It's also already possibly confirmed to be happening. Yeah. Uh, So It's good that they're, like, fed up, fed up. Yeah. So one of the directors, uh, I think the director of episode 13, one of the key directors of the entire season said, I've just been handed terrible news. The worst possible Mm -hmm. ending has happened. The most boring ending has happened. Yeah. Uh, The parade is over. Disband, disband or something like that. It's very cryptic. Um, You know, it's roughly like translated with the translate tweet button. Uh, But basically, and and another animator in a since deleted tweet was like, it's over. Yeah. Um, so a I lot of that. people that are like key production people in MAPPA in JJK's second season are like, have already tweeted done. Yeah. Like it's like, it's it like people have walked out. It's over like season two. Like we got episode 17 because all of this started happening today's Thursday. We film on Thursdays. All of this started happening roughly Tuesday night in America. Yeah. Uh, I heard about it Wednesday morning filmed my video Wednesday afternoon ish. Got it out Thursday today. Um, which, you know, got to stay on top of the That things. was easy to understand. Yeah, I mean, yeah, day by day. So the thing is, like, every, like, the majority of the work for this episode that we just saw was already done. Yeah. And also this, like, 10 animators isn't all the animators at MAPA. Yeah. That's the thing. So, like, there's already, like, MAPA soaked, like, literally wrangled every incredible animator in Japan and brought them in. Yeah. Because they're trying to be the next A1. They're trying to be the next Madhouse. Like, ma- they're... MAPA got founded in 2011 and they're trying to like make a name. Yeah, they're trying they're, to speed run. Because like they're, yeah, they're a new ish studio yeah. when things like Madhouse have been around since 2000 and um, I don't even remember. It's like, it's like, uh, no, Ufotable has been around since 2000. Madhouse has been around since 1972. Like all these big wow. animation studios have been around for a long time. And they're trying to be like, oh, I'm the new kid on the block, but I'll take everything. Yeah. And that's why they're like so dedicated to making this big splash. Yeah. So. It just sucks because it's like, like, I don't know. Not that this is why you should care, mm-hmm. but it doesn't bode great for season three. No. <laughs> you know? Well, like, here's my thing. Let's say hypothetically there is a walkout, right? Do we think MAPPA, like JJK- They gets replace them. Tr- well, so the, the animator, the animation studio gets replaced? Or- Oh, uh, I don't know who commissions that shit. Because, production right, companies. I get, yeah. So I guess- like you sell yeah, the rights to JJK to a production it to someone company. else. Yeah. That or, or what they will most likely happen is that Yamapa the, would be like, oh, you don't like it? Fuck you, new animators. But like, how easy and quick is that? I don't know. I have no yeah. idea. I, with, how often do we say we know fucking next to dick about true. animation? That's true. Yeah. So like, I don't know how many animators it requires to make JJK look like JJK. Um, and I don't know if them walking out or like trying to halt production is actually going to do anything. But I, I can tell you right now, Mappa will not let go of JJK. Yeah. For sure, Mappa will not let go. Like, that is their number one moneymaker. Yeah. And my God, why would you ever let that slip through your fingers? So Mappa is going to do whatever they can to keep that game, like that anime under their belt. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it sucks. So I don't know if we're going to be seeing episode 18. I don't know if, like, they're going to bring in scab animators. I don't know if, like, enough animators aren't going to walk out that it makes a difference. I don't know if, like, the thing is, if you're Mappa... Do you either take the delay or take the hit in quality? Well, it sucks. They take the hit in quality. You think for so? sure. They don't care. Attack on Titan is still the biggest anime, like, mm. of when it was coming out. Looks like ass. Many people would argue it looked good, though. Many people would be wrong. And that's the thing. Fair. Is that JJK looks, like, genuinely best-looking season of an anime, mm. like, ever. 
and this is like one of its best looking episodes and people are like this looks like shit mm -hmm. like people a lot of people don't appreciate it's not that they're like i you know i'm not like they don't know what's good but it's like they don't appreciate the art like, of the moment. Yeah, like, well, they don't appreciate. You can say it. They don't know what's good. No, no, but I mean, like, a lot of, like, I didn't appreciate fluidity until I took, like, animation classes. Mm -hmm. Like, that's why I see, like, Doughboy Sukuna flying on a cube, and I'm like, oh, I appreciate that they sacrifice detail for movement mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, like, I think it's gotten better. Like, a lot of people agree that Mob Psycho has stellar animation. Oh, we got a thing. Much love, boys. Thank Thanks, you, Sad. Sad. Um, a lot of people agree that, like, Mob Psycho is great animation, and that is, like, peak movement over detail. Yeah. Um, so I do think that there is, like, an appreciation, but I think if JJK switches art styles and it's, like, markedly worse mm -hmm. or cheaper, I don't think they'll take that much of a hit because I don't think... I don't think Attack on Titan switched art styles and anyone was like, this is better. Yeah. I think people were like... This is it's good fine. enough. Yeah. It, it's, yeah. it's Attack on Titan. Yeah, you know? exactly. So the long and short of it is uh, there may be a delay. Uh, we're not entirely sure. Nothing ever leaks out of Japan ever. Um, that's mostly because everybody is incredibly scary NDAs. Yeah. So they really can't leak all that much. Uh, we might see an episode next week. We might see a delay. Uh, we're kind of waiting for the next couple of days. They're going to be the biggest days to see what's going on. Uh, but long story short, fucking pirate JJK. Yeah. Pirate JJK. Uh, because that doesn't hurt the animators. Uh, they're still going to get paid. I mean, they're not being paid enough. They're not being paid yeah. overtime. So it's, it's like morally in the right to pirate this oh, show. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, like, like, if you can't, like, if you, even if you have Crunchyroll, watch it on like Kiss Anime. Kiss Anime doesn't exist anymore. Uh, Zoro Anime, GoGo -Go Anime. I don't know if it's legal to tell them. <laughs> where Ooh, websites. Yeah. All of these could be like, I haven't pirated anime in many yeah. years. All of those could be dead sites. But pirate, pirate JJK. Yeah. Do it. Uh, that's pretty much don't, all. That don't arrest us yeah. either. Oh, 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 no one, no one be a fucking narc about this. Listen, this is members only. You think, you think narcs know how to pay for YouTube? True. Um, four anime is very good. Bingo. Four anime. Nail it. Pin the tweet. Pirate JJK, ladies and gentlemen, do it. Uh, all right. Do we want to talk about our, a couple of wrap-ups on our other minor shows? Sure, yeah. This is a long episode. I know. Uh, Shangri-La, a bunch of good fights. The second big monster of the season. Shangri-La sucked. Sucked ass. It wasn't great. Boring. Boring. Nothing episode. Another dick monster, though. Who cares? Yeah. So this, explain what happened in this episode, because so little happened that I was like... They, yeah, oh, it's oh, a training oh. montage. It's a training montage in an arena. Amuel's like, defeat these 10 people. He has to, he has infinite tries. There's no yeah. death. It was, but it, it was... goes on for like 13 minutes. Yeah. And the first 10 is him just lickety splicketing out of. Oh, fight against the pencil knight and all that. Yeah. yeah. Out of the intro, out of the plot. Mm -hmm. Sucked. I was so upset. It wasn't great. I was like this. Cause it's like every other episode. I'm like, man, Shangri-La like is just like borderline slice of life. Yeah. And then they got in, like, the Pencil Knight showed up, and I was like, this is pretty good. This is pretty cool. And then this happened, and I'm like, fuck. I'm, like, I hate this. I want this show to be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's why it's in our minor anime yeah. Yeah, conversation thing. Yeah. Uh, you want to talk about Undead Unluck? Better. Better. <laughs> better. Way better. Super metal, right? Super good. Killing God is the fucking, as the yeah. final goal is dope. Yeah, so... I I'm so excited. I listen. I now have an incredibly vested interest in Undead Unluck doing yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, because we're going to talk about it more. Uh, because it's an incredibly complicated universe. There's loops. There's yeah. uh, master rules. The master rules get applied to Earth. There's 101 of them. They get random. The 10 rules are the strongest from the beginning of time. It is. There is so much complicated lore. There's time travel. There's divergent universes. There's an uh, intricate and ridiculous power system. There's Yumas. All of it is so crazy. And if un un Undead Unluck does good, I will make money off it for like the next six fucking years. And I need that. Yeah. I, it's JJK, almost JJK level complicated. It's like, it's more like Steins Gate level complicated. And it's not that well explained. And I, that's, that's how we fill the pockets, yeah. baby. I'll buy a house off Undead Unluck. That's the money, baby. That's the money, baby. I have uh, a note about Undead Unluck where, so you talked about it last time, uh, the like gifts given to earth yeah. were sex language race what they're not gifts 
Well, cur- whatever. The yeah. curses. Yeah, the, the curses. penalties. The- I, I had, now that I've read, I know that. They're penalties. The penalties given to Earth are sex, language, race, death, sickness. In that order, as far as I can tell. Those are just, so there's been 98 penalties yeah, imposed yeah. on Earth. If they don't complete these current six quests that Apocalypse gave them, the 99th penalty, galaxy is imposed. Right, 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 right. Yeah. What is this order? Mm-hmm. You're telling me sex and language and race came before death? Well, I don't think those Everyone's are- Everyone's just fucking and swearing at each other? So the random. The, gotcha. the, the way that those rules, there's 101 rules, the way that the rules are applied onto Earth is completely random. Gotcha, gotcha. So the first rule can be sex. Yeah. So now, cool, everybody has gender. Or, gotcha. or everyone right, can right, fuck. Right, right. I don't know which is yeah, which. Yeah. But if- you can't, I thought it was everyone fucks. It's definitely it's probably gender. It's gender. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can't. Well, it's sex, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you can't die until death is applied. Yeah. To the like, so it's like if death is the hunt. So every three months they get a new penalty, right? You can't get you like not until death is applied to the earth can you die. Does right. the concept of death even get introduced? Gotcha. Right, right. That's why there's no stars because galaxies. Because galaxy introduced. hasn't been applied yet. Yeah, yeah, you're doing it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I charge people for that. Not <laughs> usually. I mean, like YouTube charges people for that. But right. Yeah, you know. Yeah. No. That like, at first I didn't get it, and then I was like, oh yeah, there's no stars. There's no stars. So that's exciting. So that's if, neat. So if galaxy get applied, yeah. then that's the ninth. The, the 99th penalty. The fact that she conceptualized stars, though, yes, might mean something. You know? You're doing pretty good. You know? It might mean something. That's a theory. Pretty good. That's just a theory. Wow. An anime theory. theory. You, could take, you could take my job. This, yeah. has been, this has been a big thing. It's actually been like a big thing on my brain recently. If you could take my employment. I could never. Here's the thing. My emotional psyche couldn't take your employment. Here's the thing, Danny. What? I don't want to... I don't want to be that guy. Yeah? You think you could do what I do? I could do what you do. No chance. I No chance. I Listen, not listen. You've been doing it for 3 years, right? Uh-huh. I'm not saying I step into your shoes. <laughs> I'm not saying I step into your shoes and yeah. oh, look, Dan, Nick's just as good as Danny. You give me you give me. I think here's what I mean. You slip up. Here's You're not thing. wholesome enough. I'm not Here's the thing. I'm not saying that you like I'm saying you could do what I could do. Yeah. I'm saying we could do a full switch. Uh-huh. If you gave like a, both of us a month to prepare, and like I, yeah. was like, I was like writing down jokes. I was like, Minato, more like stub my toe. Let, let me tell you something, Nick. Yeah. Let me fucking tell you something. <laughs> yeah. You limp dick cock sucking mongrel. Okay. There is such an artistry. Oh, yeah. About, about the delicate line I weave between being aggressively obnoxious and humble little soft boy. Yeah. And you just couldn't weave it. I you could, just couldn't type you think, I, you think I couldn't you soften my edges? You love money too I, much. You love showing off your expensive riches and rubles. That's because people Whatever want, currency that's what people, you That's use. what people want. Yeah, yeah my rubles? <laughs> no, my rubles. Your rubles. Yeah, I'm fucking in Zelda. Yeah. You think I, you think I, couldn't, you think I couldn't play off this chic? This veneer you wear, yeah. this facade you walk around My with. My poor chic. You think I couldn't? Oh, oh, I could do it. I could do it, Danny. I wore poor chic until I dated a woman who only wears designer, all right? <laughs> no. She did it to me. It's not me, Danny. I'm a little boy I, I like think you, you risk at heart. losing her. I, well, yeah, okay, Danny, I'm assuming we're switching entire lives. Okay. All right, it's 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 wife swap. Okay. All right. I do wife swap. I get Sarah, you get Dorothy you're, for the remainder. Now you're speaking my language. Yeah. I used to watch wife swap. Oh, uh, so did I. Yeah. It's incredibly traumatic. Yeah. Wildly it's a bad traumatic. show. Um, Nick, you are very good looking and black. Thank you. What? I appreciate that. Oh, you are very, I thought you said you're very good looking and black. And I'm like, don't read that out loud. Race is subjective, baby. Uh, also, thank you for the three months. Uh, Nick, you be here. Nick, you'd be the reaction streamer Danny made a joke about in a recent video. Oh, care to explain? What did I do? Explain. I don't. Here's the problem with people bringing up jokes I make. Mm-hmm. I'm two weeks ahead yeah. in content. That doesn't mean Wildly I can je- take a breath. Wildly jealous of that. It is, but you're like not jealous of my psyche because mm-hmm. I'm like. I need to stay two weeks ahead. Have the same psyche. I know. Um, I'm trying to get three weeks ahead right now. Yeah. Because I'm going to be gone for a month in February. Christ. I know. Taint that just how it goes. Oh, taint it. It truly is. Danny, I can do what you do. I don't, I just don't get, I don't get I'm it. not saying you're not funny enough because honestly, do you all, think, do you genuinely think the only reason you're successful is because you somehow walk the line between poor and mean? I'm cute. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> I go, Yahoo. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Nothing about this. I don't listen, think you can cute, do it. Cute. Yahoo. 
I would absolutely do it. Danny, I can, all right, first off. It's I creepy cover, when you do I it. I cover up my tattoos. Why is it creepy? Is it the tattoos? You look like a gnome. Danny, the only difference between you and me is 40 pounds of muscle and tattoos. Uh-huh. And no hair plugs. This is a clinically old engineered physique. I yeah. looked down at my legs. I was shocked they were skinny just now. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. What's down here? Where'd these go? <laughs> my dick and balls. My dick and balls are gone. This is a strategically engineered. No. <laughs> No, please! <laughs> I like the concept of just like somewhere in the pod, you just fucking washed your legs. <laughs> it's just like, it's please, f- f- fuck! Not today, not, not today. <laughs> please, it can't be today. There was time. You're just like, what are you fucking rambling you're like, about? You're like the witch, the witch said no. I had time. <laughs> She's just like, no. wait. I like pull out three flowers. One's missing its top. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I had a note. I wrote this note last week. Actually, that I couldn't do your job. I wrote, "What would you do if I ate children?" <laughs> <laughs> All right, how many? No, here's the thing. Okay, if and then we'll get back to it because I don't think you can do my job. I think you're funny. I don't think you can do it. I I just don't the the concept that you believe that the entirety of your success is because some people are like, "Oh, he cute." <laughs> That's not it. But listen, listen. There's tons of reaction streamers. No. How okay, often right. are Dorothy and I? Being your PR team because you're so close to being almost an asshole. Okay, all right. Here's here's all right, fair, fair, Ab- absolutely fair. Can't even argue that. Uh-huh. Uh, I have almost been very mean a couple of times, and you both backed me off the edge. Am I doing your job exactly? Like I get your fan base and everything, and I have to keep them happy. Which scenario do you want? So either I'll I, play by your rules. Okay, either I become a reaction streamer, yeah. period, or reaction YouTuber, yeah. period, or. I have to be you. Which, Which do you think I can't do? You could be a reaction streamer. Okay, but you don't think um, you give me. Yeah, you can't be me. You, you give me a month you to prepare. You usurp me. If we, you had a month to prepare, uh-huh. and then we had, how long do you want? Like three months of content. Uh huh. So like three videos Let's a week. Let's assume I don't currently have the clout that I do. Right. Okay. Okay, and then I guess I don't either. So hard reset. Hard reset. We have. You have a month to prepare and uh-huh. study up or whatever, and then... And we're watching the same anime. Sure. Uh, Good. We watch the same anime. Okay. And then at the end of that anime, like we watch Full Metal or whatever, like a 60 or whatever episode one mm-hmm. with a good breath of content. At the end, we ask people which YouTuber you like better. We just do total views. Or do total views. I suppose so. Yeah. Okay. But I then feel like Full Metal like, Alchemist Brotherhood is a good in between. I could absolutely be the reaction streamer for Full Metal Alchemist. I can't be the reaction streamer for Yuri on Ice. No, I absolutely. You know what? I can be the reaction streamer for Yuri on Ice. <laughs> yeah. I yes. You know what? You. I'll. I'll tell you. I'll tell you right now. You did a great job with the Boongo Stray Dog stuff. Yeah. Your jokes. You were ripping it. You were ripping the jokes I ripped at. You were doing a great job. It was very funny. Mm-hmm. That was my best impression of you. It was very good. I look and I'll be upfront. I can't do what you do. But if you had time, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't you, think I could ever. What, you could never do what I do. I borderline try with my second channel mm-hmm. and it fails every time. It's, I'm not good enough. I don't retain knowledge. That's mm. why I do comedy. Like my memory's ass. So gotcha. I do observational humor. Uh-huh. And sometimes this happened today. So like, I'm excited about it. This is borderline irrelevant, but sometimes something will happen where you set up a joke in like the beginning of the video And the show will pay you off at the end. And you don't see it coming. That happened today in Soul Eater. Where I was like, the moon had like posters of it all over the town. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what is the moon doing stand-up comedy? Is it doing a special? And I did a couple jokes with that throughout the video. Then at the end, they meet like the werewolf guy. Mm -hmm. And he goes, I haven't seen a comedy in quite some time. And I was like, the moon's playing this Thursday. That is like the best high you ever get. Uh-huh. I'm sorry I derailed the conversation no, that, that was happened good. today. It was high. That was good. Anyway, I guess you probably could. I couldn't do what you do. I think you I, could. I can't. I like am just not smart enough. I simply am not. I. That's why I'm funny. I don't want to toot my own horn here, but making the content that I do has made me feel smarter. That's fair. You practice with practice. Like, I think I've gotten better at what I do. You're for funnier sure. probably than you used yeah. to be. 
We both just started to head into our, we're heading into yeah. our like gray, ba- gray beard period. I guess so. I, I still, cause like I said, I've made analysis videos and it's like, and I also don't like, right. When I when, remember when I was like, you can't cut it out for, or like you can't walk the line of like soft boy persona. Mm-hmm. So I think my soft boyness is what has led to my success. Here's the thing. You know what? What? I'm going to agree with you there. Cause I think my edge yeah. is, is what's what led, led to, yours? to a part of my success. Well, yeah. So I'm like one of the few soft boy male reactors mm-hmm. in the anime sphere. Mm-hmm. And that's why you can doll. You're smooth down there. I'm, you're I'm not intimidated. You're Allen. I got no balls. You got, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I got no boobies. Um, and so that sets me apart. That's why when I react to like Chainsaw Man, no one watches because mm-hmm. everyone's doing it. But if I react to Yuri on Ice, there's all these fans being like, oh, no one's really doing this. This guy is wildly unthreatening with his <clears throat> lack of testicles. Yeah. I'll watch this. I like how you start every single video being like, look, yeah. <laughs> look at my balls. <laughs> <They're not> just- <laughs> that's yeah. You got that's my catchphrase. Every video yeah. I go, look at my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, bro, boys and squirrels. Camera pan down. <laughs> <laughs> just smack it like. <laughs> no balls but um fucking but conversely i don't think i could ever get your success because i don't have the edge to clickbait as hard as you do mm-hmm. i like me i've started Business brain yeah i've started taking the episode numbers out of my titles mm-hmm. to be more clickbaity and that's as far as i can go yeah. like but i see your videos and it's like Naruto's dead? Yeah. And I'm like, I can never. Oh, you should see what I'm about to do with Boruto. Oh my God, I'm about to, <laughs> yeah. I'm about to go absolutely nuts so crazy. Yeah. Here's my thing, and this is a revelation I've come to recently. I think you'll be a YouTuber long after I'll be a YouTuber. Hmm. I think your career as a YouTuber will be longer than mine. Mm-hmm. And I think in the next 10 years, I probably won't be a YouTuber. You still will be. But I think you'll retire. I, you it's, not even, it's not even retire. I'm going to get into the private sector. I'm going to do business. Like me and right. Dorothy in the process of starting a business. Like right. the second I'm a CEO of a business, like I'm just going to stop doing YouTube. You're done. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like, I love YouTube. Don't get it twisted. Like I love talking about anime all day, but I would love to run a business. Like yeah. I would love to put a suit on and just like fucking boss people around. It's like, I have business brain. Yeah. And like business brain is why I'm good at YouTube. But like right. the second that like I get a business like, off the ground and it's like, you know, a seven figure business. I mean, I'm not going to sit down and scream for eight hours. Today. Right. You know, like, I was just, I'd rather like, be on like a three calls yeah. and like pretend that I'm the hardest working dude on earth. Like every other fucking CEO. Like, oh, I'm so, I had to be on four calls today and I had to drive to the <laughs> other side of LA to have a talk with a smoothie company. Fuck you. That's yeah. the easiest job in the history of jobs. So and we're YouTubers. And we're YouTubers. <laughs> being a CEO, wildly. not Being a CEO of a small business, very difficult. Yeah, you have to pull yeah, off yeah. a lot. CEO of a, a business with any anything over 15 employees, yeah. easiest job in the history of jobs. You've eliminated <laughs> the need for yourself. After after yeah. 15 employees, you no longer need a job. Fair. Fair. But yeah, so I think you'll be, because you have a very, like, I have a cult following. Your following makes my following look non-religious. <laughs> Your following is like, oh, Danny. <laughs> Danny, what are we buying? Yeah, the Dan Po thing really put that into perspective. I, Danny, you get Danny gets Danny gets how many Instagram requests do you get a day? I get tons. I get tons of DMs I every day. Get, I probably get, I get like twelve a day. I probably get one to two. Yeah, one to two DMs on Instagram a day. The fact that people are writing thousands of pages of Dan Po love like love letters and like like all those kinds of things and videos about you are doing a hundred thousand views and they're not people being like fuck this guy. You're way more called following well, than me. Well, that's, that's kind of what I meant, too, is, like, I don't know if you'd like... I guess you could do what I do if it's a competition, but, like, part of my success is also that I approach it from, like, you are watching me to watch anime with a friend. Yeah. You are watching you to go to class. Yeah. You know, to, or to hate watch. I get yeah, well, like, for sure. Yeah. No, no, it's not fun to hate watch me, because it's mostly jokes. Mm. So then it's just like, you're watching a comedian you don't like. Yeah. It's fun to hate watch you because it's like, his takes. opinion is objectively yeah. wrong. His yeah. opinion is wrong. Here's, here's someone dumb. It's yeah. like when you used to watch like, like Republican or liberal gets pwned. Oh, my you God. know, like, I actually fortunately never got pumped into that, pumped into that, uh, like, you know, alt-right pop. Like, yeah, like I know. And that's sick. Every more pipeline. pipeline. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> that alt-right pop punk. Pop, pop, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, like it happens for yeah. sure. For sure. No, that's hype. Uh, me neither. But like, mm-hmm. it's just like, yeah, we're different like strategies towards YouTube. And that's why we work. Yeah. Because remember in the beginning, everyone was like, oh, what's this? And it was so many of mine being like, oh, what's this? You know, this, soft, soft, boy. <laughs> this soft boy who doesn't even know Naruto on the show. Yeah. I was like, listen, it's, it's 
two people who approach anime from like in their content careers from like objectively different approaches coming together to make a podcast and that's why we work because he's funny and i have tattoos all right uh flashback yeah got news yeah, a lot of trailers. A lot of trailers. Yeah, two whopping trailers. Can I do mine first? So yeah. like, I don't want you to take mine because you sure. said two and I only have one. Go on, steal it. Uh, Pokemon stop motion movie, Pokemon Concierge coming? Series. 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 That's dope. It's so sick. Mm-hmm. It's fuzzy Pokemon. It's fuzzy Pokemon. They're so soft. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, it just looks sick. They also unretired some legendary animator to do it, and I do not remember his oh, name. Really? Yeah, it's like some legendary stop motion animator from Japan that oh, they wow. unretired to make this show. I don't know any Japanese stop motion. No. Interesting. The only stop motion that you know is like the Fox Island Dog, Isle of Dogs. Isle of Dogs, that's, and also Fantastic Mr. Fox. That's your... all. Yep, they're all together. Um, I know plenty. By the way. Oh, what was that one made by the legendary like uh, horror director? He made an entire movie. It was like an hour and 20 minutes. Everyone was like, wow, it was good. But it was the, like. the With the with it was Keegan, cl- Keegan Mike or uh, Jordan Peele and Keegan Michael Key. No. Wendell and Wilde. No, 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 no. It was like horror a director. God, death. Uh, love, death and robots. No, love, death and robots. Not stop motion. Um, it was like this legendary. No, he's not even. He worked on like did like uh, on Star Wars. He was like a lighting guy, or he's like one of like the most important people in the production of like things like Star Wars. I don't. He know. made his own movie. Coraline. Um, no, 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 no. It was like a god death butcher. Like it's like oh, Mad God. Mad God. Yeah, that's yeah, what it is. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I never saw that. Neither did I. Yeah, here it's okay. I heard it was like it was kind of just like a oh that was cool that we saw yeah, it. Yeah. There was no plot. Yeah, it's a Ghibli. Yeah. Um. But like, fucking. You got it. Let's just decompress. Let's just yeah. Let's just, yeah. Let's just oh, like, Pokemon Concierge. There we go. Um, it looks sick. And even if you don't think it looks sick, my biggest excitement about it is that it's a different Pokemon thing. Oh yeah. Like, for decades, two now I suppose, the only Pokemon like, TV media we've gotten is ash related yeah. or every now and then we get like a pokemon journeys which is like red or something but it looks like an ash one mm-hmm. and yeah higher quality animation whatever all similar shit this even though it's like still kind of catered towards kids it it's like a maybe upper college le- like they don't swear yeah. there's no blood but it's so like get high and chill with vibes kind of show. Which seems incredible. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it does look good on its own, but I What's love... What's it even about? Like, it, like, she's a... It's Hotel for Dogs. Okay, gotcha. But she's like, I think it's like, they run a resort for Pokemon. Mm-hmm. You know, in Pokemon, you could bring your Pokemon to like a daycare and yeah. it'll fuck another one and have eggs. Which was wild, yeah. I think it's that. It's just Ditto getting run through for 30 <laughs> episodes. It's just Pokemon running a train on It's just like a line. It's just a line. It's like a big Ditto sign. It's just like yeah. a line of Pokemon outside it's of it. It's just this blob turning back into a Ditto. And it's like, help me. And it's like, be a Mr. Mime. And it goes, <laughs> wimp. And it's like, Mr. Mime, please yeah. say your name. <laughs> it's like Torchic. It's like Torchic falling up against like, it's like Machamp and then Torchic yeah. is like, God damn, I'm not going to be able to feel it. I'm going to be able to fit my whole goddamn body in that yeah. dick hole. But it's a woman running a hotel for Pokemon and she's like, they all want different things. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, it's Blue's house of imaginary friends. Foster's, Foster's home, home for, for imaginary, imaginary friends. friends. But Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. It's, That's kind of sick. It's literally that. Um, and it's just so cute. But yeah, I love that it's the Pokemon company experimenting with different shows and shit. Mm-hmm. We'll never get an adult Pokemon thing. No. But it makes so much money. Oh, it would make a good jillion dollars. Yeah. If you, like like absolutely just catered for the generation that grew up with like the OG Pokemon. And you're like, Oh yeah, we're now exploring like the undercurrent of the Pokemon worlds. And like people and like uh, detective Pikachu kind of did it where they're like, Oh, there's this like underground fighting ring and Pikachu has to fight that Charmander do that. But it's like Charmander, like ripping the head off the squirrel. Yeah. Yeah. That would be sick. Cause the thing is you eat, don't you eat Pokemon in the Pokemon world? No one knows. Oh. They, they keep dancing around it. Sometimes Ash is eating a magic carp. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's, it's, just regular food. What is the, uh, what's the ox? What's the ox? Tauros? Tauros, yeah. yeah. I feel, no, that might have just been a joke. That would have been a Meat Canyon joke. I don't remember. But I feel like Tauros, no, never mind. They do dance. There's right, you're instances right. yeah. where they are eating Pokemon. Yeah. Then there's other instances where there's just like 
regular animals sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like, I forget what, there's like some instances where it's like. No, you're right. There is there's the, just yeah. a mouse that runs by. And Misty's yeah. like, ah, and it's like, what the fuck was that? Was that a rotata? <laughs> and they're like, no, yeah. no, it wasn't. And they're no, like, it was oh. a mouse, bitch. Yeah, and you're like, ah. Do we kill it? Like, yeah. do we like exterminate all <laughs> non-Pokemon things? That would be cool though. Like a yeah. adult show for Pokemon. So like, this is like really going to be as much as we get. There you go. Thanks, babe. Yeah. Appreciate you. So that's my news. What's yours? Um, Yu Yu Hakusho got a live, live action. action trailer. Yep. No one has faith in it. No. Because of the Full Metal Alchemist live actions. Mm -hmm. It looks cool. I didn't know there were powers in Yu Yu Hakusho. There are. Spirit powers. Looks cool. It looks fine. Really? It looks. Does it look like cheesy and bad? Like it the doesn't. Full no, metal no, one? no, it doesn't. Okay, f the full metal one isn't even awful. Yeah, it's not awful. Like there's, it's just nothing. It's just nothing. Yeah. It's just such a nothing burger. You're like, why the fuck? Because it's a one to one adaptation, yeah. but they're also trying to like get as much done as possible. So they're just blitzing yeah. through storylines. So like, oh, there's the set piece. There's the set piece. Yeah. There's the thing that I'm supposed to see. Cool. But you're like, it's not as good. The action isn't good. The CGI budget isn't there. Like, and I think the one piece live action animation is skewed like what people believe about live action so greatly now that people are like giving live actions more faith. Yeah. But if you're going to do live action for a, like an anime, you use about as good as you can get because yeah. the powers aren't anything crazy in Japan. Yeah. Like, Oh, sorry, oh it's a Japanese one. Well, that's what I was going to say yeah, is people right. are like, I have so much faith because of uh, one piece and it's like American. It's so different. Yeah. Like it's it's just Netflix paying for someone to do it. And if that is a Japanese company, America goes a little harder on like the special effects yeah. media. We also all like the thing is we get live actions for anime all the time in Japan. Yeah. Saw one hundred got a live action. Yeah. Six episodes into it running. Assassination um, Classroom has two. Yep. Um Tokyo Avengers has one. Yeah. It's awful. Like yeah. Japan, if you ever fly Japan Air or like ANA or anything like that. If you're flying, you will have options to watch live action anime movies. Don't. They're an hour and a half. They cover the first <laughs> 10 episodes. They're <laughs> horrifically bad. I just love, you'll have options. Don't. Don't. Literally yeah. just watch anything else. They also have full on anime movies. Watch those. Yeah. Uh, and then my best boy of the week is actually a piss boy of the week. And it's Mappa CEO. This is just a reminder uh, that Mappa animators are threatening to unalive themselves. So pirate JJK. Let's go. Yeah. I have a, a pissy best boy. Oh, you have a pissy best boy. Now, mm -hmm. Nick, and I was almost going to save this for next week oh, okay. because we could talk about it a bit. Maybe I'll watch more. I texted you before we started this podcast mm -hmm. uh, that you are not going to like the anime that I've been watching in my free time. Gotcha. Because there are a lot of shows I should be watching in Absolutely. my free time. Yep. Hunter Hunter. Naruto. Naruto. Yeah. Boruto. Mm -hmm. Bleach, uh, maybe. Bleach, yeah. probably, definitely. Yeah. Um, Spy Family. One Piece. One Piece. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's we'll keep going down the list. Mashal. Mashal would be um, good. Nah, you don't like Mashal. Well, any others? No. So based on my text of me being like, you're going to hate- High School DX thing. Mm, mm. I've seen High School of the Dead. That That's count? close enough. Yeah. There we go. That's we'll place demons with uh, devil, uh, demons with zombies. zombies and, yeah, yeah there, there we go. go. Now, based on that, which show, do you want to take a guess at which show- would piss you off that I'm spending my free time in and will continue to because it's low key all I can think about. Can I ask one question? Yeah. Have you seen it before? Nope. Oh. So in that sense, it's not bad because I'm still doing work. Because I haven't seen it before. I so Are you reacting to it? No. Okay. That's that's why it's egregious because That's a good that's a good hint though, because it's not gay. No. It's not gay, no. it's not soft. You've which talked means, about which, it. Which means it's shown in like. I've talked about it. Mm -hmm. Definitely not sorted online. You hated that. Nope. It's definitely not an isekai because you wouldn't do that. Is it an isekai? Is it? What's your guess? Um, it's not. I don't. I feel like you wouldn't watch an isekai in your spare time. That's not you, Danny. You That's hate, not me. You don't like isekai. Um, I've talked about it. Yeah. I, but I would be mad. That you've, you're watching it and you haven't seen it. Uh huh. Um, you've seen you've seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. You've seen, uh, you're, it's not Sao. It's it's not Log Horizon. I don't know why you would go that deep into the Isekai world. It's 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 not a romance anime unless it's like a stand. Is it it's not a romance? It's not a romance anime. Um, all you can think about 
oh man, my brain is going to Kake Guri for some reason, and I don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've no, seen I, that. I, I've I, seen that in its entirety. Yeah, I know you reacted to it. It's not going to be a gambling show. It's an isekai. It's an isekai. Yeah. Is it gay? Mm mm. Is it Log Horizon? Mm mm. Is it Shield Hero? Nope. Is it Mushuka Tensei? It is. Oh, you motherfucker. Here's the thing. Oh, God. Here we go. It is my piss and my best. Oh, God. I have enemies in my own fucking <laughs> in podcast. Your own, in your own court. Oh, I am. I am pissed. The- oh, I'm pissed. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad. Guess what? Why would you do this? How do you think I feel? What you- I was almost not going to say anything because I truly... Truly was not prepared. I, I started watching it as a bit. I was like, man, it'd be funny if I was like, if I watched it and I was like, oh, Nick is wrong and this and that. Just to see what all the controversy is about. Mm-hmm. No one prepared me. Oh, yeah. For it being the most gorgeous anime I've ever seen. It's fucking incredible to look at. It's infuriatingly good to look at. Yeah. It somehow merges. There's a reason it's the biggest isekai on earth. It's too good looking. It's very good looking. It's got this like film grain on it. Yeah. The character designs are stunning. Yep. It's just- not also to mention every character outside of Rudy. Genuinely interesting, cool backstories, great universe building. It's really fascinating. Don't get me started on the fights. Really good fights. I haven't even gotten to a fight. I'm on episode five, mm. which is a lot of episodes for me to watch in my spare time. As a bit. Yeah, as yeah. a bit. I'm on episode five. I've only gotten him doing magic, and the way they go about the magic is so interesting. Yep. But I meant to do the asterisks before all of this because I don't want to promote it. Yeah. I keep being like, maybe everyone's wrong and it's not that bad. (laughs) Like, I keep being like, oh, maybe I'm the one person who's going to be like, oh, psych, he's not a pedophile. And you know what? In in retrospect, good thing I'm not that one person. Yeah, usually not. That's a weird picket sign to hold. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Harvey Weinstein did nothing wrong. And just like walking up and down West Holly, not not a great look. It sucks so much. Ruined. Why would it be like this? Ruined. It's so ruined. The potential to be one of the greatest anime of all time simply ruined by the presence of one character who happens to be the main fucking character. I almost didn't want to per- like talk about it because yeah. I don't want to promote it. You haven't it. even gotten to the worst parts yet. I know. Yeah. Because he's like, because now, right? I was episode like three or four had me on the fence where I'm like, maybe some people are wrong because he, what? No, you're good. Oh, I was like, maybe some people are wrong because there's a bit where he's with Sylph and he's like trying to take a bath with him at the time, her, it turns out. Mm -hmm. Thinks it's another boy. And like, I was like, okay, he's not being weird about it. And like, he does take a bath with his father and that can be stricken up to like, it is just the times. Like people do just be bathing. Oh yeah. And like, People, I mean, I took baths with, like, my yeah, parents. Yeah, yeah, like, you take baths with your parents. Yeah. And it's just, like, a, like kids gotta get clean. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, like, so I'm, like, okay, he's not being weird with Sylph. And then it turns out she's a girl. And then he's, like, Dad, what if she doesn't like me? How do I get in bed with her? And and the, and the dad, before that, the dad's, like, why'd you take off her clothes? And he's, like, I thought she was a boy and she'd get cold in the wet clothes. And he's, like... Well, we don't force ourselves. We don't do anything if they say no. And I'm like, oh, okay. Okay, good. And then he's like, dad, how do I, how do I pork? And I'm like, no. Yeah. Why are you doing this? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why are you ruining everything? Has the dad, has the dad cheated yet? No. Well, thanks. The, By the way, there's dad, a better way to ask that dad's question. Dad's a bastard. I mean, the, he's not a good guy. Like, <laughs> I kept, I knew because like. I had like eight tabs open that were like, <laughs> is 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 jobless reincarnation really this bad? Yeah. And everyone is like, oh, I got screenshots actually. This mm-hmm. is funny. Um, cause you get into beef with people being like, you just don't get it. It's the and that's where I was like, okay, maybe I can be on that camp where I'm like, maybe it is smarter. Maybe he's a complex character. Yeah, maybe it's smarter than that. It's so he's so not punished and he so doesn't need like it doesn't need to be 
in it. Nope. It doesn't add anything. It's people It's people just like coping with the fact that their MC is awful. Yeah. And they're just like, oh, you you, you, you wouldn't get it. It's, it's more complex than you can even begin to understand. You're supposed to hate him, shit like that. It's like, oh, really? I'm supposed to hate him? Why are people cosplayed him at, like, cosplayed as him at fucking conventions? Yeah. Well, it's like, it's not even, because I've read stuff before where it's like, the character is, like, the manga could gotten to some controversy because he was like, Rudius doesn't mind slavery. Yeah. And people were like, this author's a scumbag. And mm-hmm. even that, I was like, well, I've read books where the main character, like, owns slaves. And, over like, the Sanderson books, mm-hmm. the main guys, the main good guys own slaves. And over the course of several ginormous books, they learn very slowly that that's not cool. Yeah. And so I'm like, okay, that could just be them telling a story. But it's like, he's so, it's not even like, they're, they're like, oh, it's to show him evolve and get better. But nope. yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't need the horny thing. It doesn't add to anything. We don't need him lusting after his mother. And otherwise, he's like a normal good person. Yep. Which doesn't make him a good person. Yep. He does, he He's such a pedophile. It's an unnecessary addition for no goddamn reason. It's and terrible. it's worse when you consider the fact that the second he's born, he's technically 30. It's so terrible. Yeah. It's awful. I have a comment on a thread where someone was like, does Mushuku Tensei improve because of all the things we've said? Yeah. Uh, the first most voted reply is, this has to be a troll thread. I mean, you're a Narutard and your taste is dot, 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 a garbage. Anyway, there aren't many anim- anime similar to ReZero because it's a pretty mediocre anime, but a good isekai. Um, Mushoku Tensei isn't a bunch of filler. It tells the life of this guy, his problems, and he solves them. The world building is also intricate, and all the characters have a depth and realism to them like no other anime. Why, why, why are they, why would they taint it why, that's, like this? That's, that's the, that's the worst bit of it is that the anime in the manga is really fucking good. Yeah. And then it's like, oh yeah. And Rudy has sexually assaulted his second cousin who's 12. That's You're like, I don't, like, what, like why, like why yeah. don't write the fucking, were they, it were they nothing. acoustic? It why adds, did he write that? Was he like, what, what are we doing? It adds absolutely nothing. Nothing. It adds nothing to yeah. the plot and there's no reason. And it's just like, you were so good at all the other aspects of being a mangaka. Why did we need to add this? And they're like, oh, he's a divisive character. You don't understand him. Fucking, if you want to set your universe apart, do all of the things that make Mashuku Tensei good and leave the fucking yeah. Meliodas. I'm I'm Take cut criticism. I'm <laughs> like, cutting right? the sheets that I fucked my childhood best friend on so I can smell her hymen in my pocket for the rest of my life. Holy shit, I didn't get to any of that. Some light novels. Oh my god. It's the end. It's the end. Ugh. It's just it's yeah, like horrible. and here's the thing, like, it exists. Mashuka Tensei exists for the the part of the anime fandom. That, that sucks. Pops, <laughs> more like more or less. It's like uh. I hate to say it, but it exists for the part of the anime fandom that won't let go of old animeisms. Yeah. It's the people like like everything that people look at the anime fandom and they're like, oh, the meme, you know, the fedora, neck beard, like here's my wife who like that is just like the people who are like, you don't get it. It's oh, all of this is all of this makes sense. It's that. It's it's the memed, because it's like the meme exists for a reason, and that is the reason. Yeah. And like your average sensical anime watcher can look at Mashuka Tensei and be like, there like it could be great. It could yeah. be so good, but it's not. I know. The animation studio mm-hmm. has only made this. Yeah. And like one other thing that looks so fine. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, where'd you guys come from? Yep. And please do another thing. Do more shit. Because yeah. God, I love the fucking animation. It's really it's, good. It's movie quality. It's really goddamn good. It's insane. Yeah. So anyway, that's my pissy best boy. Pissy best boy indeed. Yeah. All right. That brings us to our love letter. James? And, uh... James. Was that who it was? I don't Jacob? Know. I think it was Joseph. Joseph, yeah, baby. Uh, and today's love letter has been provided to us by the lovely Joseph. And if you guys want to ask us a question live or just watch the podcast Jesus live. Jesus Christ, almost, what happened? I almost fucking threw up. <laughs> I almost, 
I almost threw up. Next time that happens, just do it. <laughs> you have to. I got this wood carving here, though. I don't want to destroy it. We need to it. talk about it. Uh, we'll do that next episode when you okay. have yours. Yeah. Um, so if you guys want to watch our podcast live, you can become a YouTube member for either $4.99 or $5.99 a month to become either Team Nick or Team Danny. Uh, you get to hang out with us, watch the dogs play around after the podcast, hang out with the four. Uh, and sure, sometimes, you know, we do mess up the stream and uh, Nick accidentally unplugs the mic, which apparently, if, even if you plug the mic back in, it doesn't work anymore, but you get to see those things live. You get to interact with us, and you get to ask us questions. And Joseph today has been selected to ask the question, and Joseph asks, if you could have the powers of one side character in anime, who would it be and why? What's the context? Because we've talked about powers before, mm -hmm. and I was like, I, you know, I'd be like, lightning powers are cool. And you're like, what are you going to do? You're going to show up to a bar with lightning powers, yeah. kill everybody in the room? Mm -hmm. Are we talking fights? Because I'd love... I would love... I think about it every single time I, everyone asks if I want powers, I think about it in a my current life basis. Gotcha. What am I going to go... Like, am I going to go like join the defense like squad for America and go punch people in the Middle East? Like, no. You know what? Even with that context, mm -hmm. I'm choosing Bakugo. Okay. Because Bakugo can at least... He's still got party tricks. He's got a little like crackle. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a little... He can sometimes. fucking fly. And he flies, my yeah. guy. Yeah. Which is sick. It is I sick. love Bakugo's powers for some reason... As I age, I start loving rocket powers mm -hmm. for no reason. Like, I love mobility powers so mm -hmm. much. I love Bakugo. I love Shinra. Uh, I love Spider-Man. Yeah. Which is not a side character or an anime. But I mean, I just, a side character in the Avengers, I guess. I love the mobility aspect. And I love that Shinra is just, like, boosting the fuck out of everything. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I'm actually going to stay in MHA. The yeah. side character whose power I would choose, same kind of vein, Koro Giri. Uh, the portal guy for the League of Villains. Yeah. The ability to open portals, not only for you, but also other people. You do know, you hey, have to look like that? Because he do be a portal. He do be a portal. That's like being like, I want the washing machine's ability without being a washing machine. Well, I don't want the, the bubble bubble fruit. No, yeah. I'm okay. Thank well, that's you. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm going to go with no. Yeah. I'm going to go with no. Convenient yeah. for you. Okay. Oh, yeah. If you get Pakugo's abilities, you have to scream all the goddamn time like him. That has nothing to do with his ability. He's he sucked pre-ability. He's fiery. Yeah. Because of the napalm pal palms. Napalm palms. <laughs> yeah. The napalms. Palms. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying me, Korrigiri, but the, gotcha. the, the person under Korrigiri, pretty yeah. good looking dude. Is he? Yeah. I thought he was just a fucking portal. No. They're, they've covered this in the MHA anime. Already. How did they win? Absolutely. He was a friend with President Mike and uh, oh. Erasure. Erasure. I guess so. Yeah. 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 Uh, he had like blue hair and all that, yeah, like the, yeah. the band aid on his nose. Uh, I'm gonna take core gears abilities as long as I don't look like Portal Man, but low key, it's kind of a cool look. Bad look, kind of a cool look, terrible oh, look. Fam you're just like all like purple flamey. <laughs> That's sick. It looks like Pokemon Spirit Tomb. Do you know? Listen, and I love my wife. Uh huh. I love my wife. Okay, do you know how many women you would pull looking like Korrigiri? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Zero women. You know how many fucking no, no, moths stop, stop, you would pull? Stop, stop. Do you know how many moths stop. you would pull? Stop. If you're a woman in the comments right now, would you fuck Korrigiri? Say yes. That's all I want. I want a yes in the comments. If you comment just yes, I'll know you're saying you want to fuck Korrigiri. Okay, and if you are on my side and agree with me um, and are a moth, comment yes, but I'm a moth. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> or then figure out, listen, yeah. that moth is going to take a long time to press all those keys. Yeah. We might be on next week's episode listen, by then. some will die trying. Dude. As they batter themselves against the keyboard. Danny, you, listen, for somebody who is the epitome of the female gaze, you do not understand the female brain at all. I, Korgiri would fuck. With what phallus? I, I, listen, listen, he could open a portal. He's a to fucking some, He could open a portal boy. to somebody else's cock at and no, use that. At no, first off, <laughs> yeah. first off, <laughs> that is not consent. <laughs> To that other person. It's a, it's a working if relationship, If there Danny. is a man fucking. Rose what? said yes. Both said yes. All yeses. You guys are whack. You guys are a bunch of sexual deviants. If you are. Here's the thing. This is not consenting. If you're about to schmoop a woman, if oh, you yeah, will. Oh, you're about to get rid of the blorp of her if life. If you're about to canoodle schmood mm. um, this woman and she's like, all right, thrust into me. And you start thrusting. You open a portal to another man about to thrust into a woman. His dick, instead of going into that woman, goes through your portal into this woman. 
You have you have a cock blocked on a galactic scale. I love, I love the idea of her being like, "Are you in yet?" And then him just having this like, "I think so." I, I'm so in. What's up with you? I'm eight inches. What do you mean? Am I in? She's like, there's truly nothing going on down there. All right, here. Riley Reed. I'm sorry, I'm not batting up the MLB standards here. Holy fuck! Oh my god. Yes, women would absolutely. I we're gonna make a poll about this, and uh-huh. every woman is gonna say that they would fuck Horagiri because absolutely would they? He's mystic. Women want to fuck the the guy from Scream. Yeah, he's not a fucking bonfire. There's a man a melt, under him. He wears a melted face. You don't know if Korrigiri has a penis. That could be the one part that's not a portal. <laughs> no way. For sure he's, he could have a dick. He's a portal with a dick. It could be portal from the waist up. We've never seen his legs. <laughs> We've never seen his legs, Daniel. Terrible choice. And that's everything we have this week, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for checking in for Talks Anonymous. I've been NC Hammer 23 also known as the Weeb Commander. Uh, what an episode. Ladies and gentlemen, 43 down. We are now officially less than 10 weeks away for doing this for a whole year. They're getting so long. They are getting quite long. <laughs> but we're also making more money. Are we? The- Absolutely. We make so little off We this don't pie. make a lot of money off this. We really, this actually, in terms of hours this spent. This devours my entire day. In terms of hours spent, this is one of our least, our, our least profitable things we do. But it's also the favorite content I make. Just so everyone knows. Uh-huh. I drive an hour here, an hour back. Don't even. It takes two and a half hours just to record. And then you're like, hey, Friday, game with me for several hours. First off, first off, first off. And I'm like, can we do it on Thursday? And you go, no. And I go, can you come over to my house for once? And you go, eh, it's a little far. Dorothy's sick. This and that. Oh, oh, for the pool party? Uh, Yeah, for the pool. Party. I was at your house. The one time. I was at your house four I, days the, ago. Shut the fuck up. The one time I asked, because it was convenient, because you were in the neighborhood, you fuckwit. The one time I asked you to come over as a friend and a favor, you sent me a screenshot of how far it is. And I'm like, hey, douchebag, guess how far I drive every week? Like, that's gonna get my pity? What? You drive... Oh, to- oh, oh, well, she is sick. No, the fuck she is. Don't bring Dorothy. She was. Ooh. She was so Where? sick. Where? Was- Where? Oh, boo. We didn't do uh, this. Shut <laughs> up. You just drive- shut up for once. For one second, shut up. One- oh, my God. He's still talking. Oh, my God. You drive oh during rush God. hour every time. I drive at three. That's I drive at rush two, hour. two and three. You Everyone's at work. Fuck. Everyone's at work at two and three. No, they're not. Oh, my God. You Especially can't, on a Thursday. You can't shut up People for are going one down. second. Especially on a Thursday. Especially People everyone's favorite. Happy hour. Everyone's favorite weekend. Thursday. If, <laughs> if you knew anything about oh. anything. You would know rush hour starts at 2 p.m. in L.A. Come in the morning. Come at 10 a.m. I have shit to do. This takes 11 hours. (laughs) You would be gone. You would be gone by one. This takes 40 hours a day. (laughs) You fucking moron. I know it feels like it's only two and a half hours for you. Because you got to roll out of your dumbass idiot single bed. And then scoop on it. I have a queen. Shut up. (laughs) Shut up, I'm talking. You roll out of bed, do this stupid podcast, and then just move on with your day. You play Boulder's Gate. You polish your million-dollar statues. I spend a thousand in gas every week. Gas is seven unironic dollars. In an electric car. Ooh! Don't be poor anymore, Ooh, says you're Nick. Not <laughs> poor. Oh, okay. Thanks, guys. We love you. Bye. <laughs>